keeps a little dead meme. Uh, hey everybody hey. welcome welcome to episode hey. uh, episode 100 and something of uh of the snark tank podcast 400 uh, i can't believe we hit 400 i can't, can't believe we believe hit 400 that. episodes and we actually just hit four million uh four billion sorry four billion subscribers on uh on uh the the patreon so thank you so much we could always use more Amazing. help, though, because, you know, you believe it or not, yeah. believe it you or not, imagine? that's really not enough money. We need more. So come on over to <laughs> patreon.com slash the snark tank. Stop interrupting my ad. Go to patreon.com slash the snark tank and uh, support us over there. We got a bunch of cool sh- cool stuff. Nothing happened this week, which is something I always say before, I don't know, uh, a, a famous comedian gets assassinated or a fucking dog is found on the sun or just some fucking nonsense uh big news oh, yeah, so yeah. i expect i expect tomorrow the day that you're hearing this i expect massive news to happen so i apologize but we're not going to be covering that whatever it is yeah, nah, dude, yeah. that's nah. the problem with this topical bullshit man we should just we should just be we just turn on the microphone and then the first thing that happens is is the is the episode now this is why i said early on we should just make things up we should pr- we I should still, make I, things like up that. we should be like i can't believe helen keller came back out of hiding i can't believe they found uh tupac alive and he was he was building discount sham wows in taiwan like this it's, you know, it's it, things like I that i don't hate i honestly don't hate that at all no i think it would be so funny just to invent news uh, yeah every 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 week we just we 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 come together before the show and we compare like news fake news articles that we thought of we should make we a, just we, run we with should, it we should, we should make a show called fake news or we, just, <laughs> we should do that. that could be an extra show that could be a once a month extra show we do yeah fuck it whatever we do fake news also and it's just some shit it's some we just say lies about mm. famous people yeah i don't know but we do a little bit of studying so it's worse. So it's like a little bit of information with a bunch of misinformation because that's the most dangerous. That is the most dangerous. That's the most dangerous. Yeah. But you can't be... call. You can't call it fake news though. Then no, 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 like... no, no. Yes, it's still it's still vastly fake. Just because it's, <laughs> just because it's fake news doesn't mean it's not real or legitimate. I mean that's true, <laughs> but I would I would love to. <laughs> Uh, like like how uh, we thought about oh let's call it minority report and then it's just it sounds kind of reputable on the surface yeah, and then yeah. you, you listen and it's just horseshit piles Bull of horseshit lies like there's just, an inth there's an inth of truth to it but it's so many lies and it's like damn yeah and, it's definitely, and we don't and we talk about it like now a, like, being fake and then we don't bring it up ever again being fake <laughs> after this moment it's like imagine more imagine lies than truth for sure but <laughs> imagine this imagine this so uh c pack just happened right yeah uh and and c pack was c pack again c pack that's the conservative the, thing right oh yeah okay, yeah they the do it like every yeah. year or some shit uh maybe even multiple times i don't know I always see like I, for some reason i always see it because you, you're uh, conservative like, in the news for some fucking reason yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's, that's exactly definitely why you why. fucking see it Fuck. i don't see it absolutely <laughs> No, I mean, I will actually pay attention to the news, so, you know. Yeah, it's because like, you're, you're, like cons- you're a conservative. I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, conservative people only like to be informed, I guess. Exactly, bro. You <laughs> from, prove- from your point of view, sure. You're okay. just proving your yeah, point, no, but whatever. Okay. No, absolutely. You know, yeah, <laughs> totally. Uh, but, yeah, no, there's this guy named Michael Knowles. I'd love to, I would love to make oh, fake man. news reports on this guy. But, yeah, he was the guy that said, like, oh, uh, transgenderism needs to be eradicated. It would be oh, great I did. I to saw take that, that headline <laughs> And completely, because he he uh he got into some beef with the Rolling Stone with Rolling Stone magazine, and I'd love to become Rolling Stone magazine and put my headline of what he actually said. Oh, just make you it know what worse. I mean? Like, I think that would be a very very good, speak like telling people with <laughs> trying to, with a straight fucking face that he said he wanted to personally. I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to say it. He I don't. To I, feel, I feel like cure every transgender person. You want? You want? <laughs> I had something else. I want. I, I was just trying to think of how could I nerf this? How could I? How could I nerf him? It's like a hard. He it's a hard to personally... statement to nerf. It's like yeah, uh, <laughs> it's a very difficult. Powerful. One. 
I didn't really look into it at all because I just I don't give a shit about what Michael Knoll like any of these people. Yeah, yeah, I saw the fucking speech and I was just like, oh, come on. I watched it and I was like, this these people are real. <laughs> it's just these people I, are re- people cheered. What makes it scary is that people cheered. That's what yeah. that's what's always fucked me up I've about decided- like fucking horrible <laughs> speeches. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like people are like, yay! And I'm just like. You know what it reminded me he, of? You know, he's you know, saying evil stuff. You, you, know, you know what it reminded me of a little bit? Do you remember? Do you remember when when Christopher Judge accepted his award for God of War at the Video Game Awards and he stayed up there for like twenty five minutes? It was dope. Off on this like Joe Biden level diatribe about like just like random stories from his youth. And everybody it was, was just funny because like, like no one would have went up there and stopped him. No, no, That's no. Why I everybody, didn't think not a fucking, soul. Everybody would have been like, "He's let him be done. I'm not going to stop him." You got to bring back the cane, man. You gotta fucking bring back that long that, ass. That was cane real, and yeah. That was a real off thing. Stage. Yank, yank a motherfucker off stage. The fuck off stage. That was I don't care how reputable thing. you are, bro. No, it was real. I think it was real. They, I think it was real. You're out of your fucking mind. I think they it was real. Are you stupid? They didn't. You think you know how, Chris? You know how many things that are more ridiculous than that that are a hundred percent true? Kingston, they did so not mean, like, in old showtimey like random award shows in the forties <laughs> have a fucking forty foot, fifty foot, sixty foot cane where they yanked people off screen in a comedic. They, Were you alive back then, Chris? Do you, you really know? Do you really know, Chris? Or are you just going to assume you know? Are you just going to make an assumption, Chris? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, I have a great photo of my <laughs> uncle, my great, great, great uncle floating through the air on the on the smell streams of a pie. That's like that's like a, a thing that you say. That's that, a Chris, <laughs> that is not – Chris, the fact that you in your mind really think that someone floating toward a pie and people just having a large cane and yanking people off stage are equivalent and they ridiculous is wild. They are, they are literally equivalently ridiculous. They're Why? not. Why? They wait, are wait, not, wait, 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 wait a not, second. Wait a second. Look, dude, so wait, I admit are you, it are might be fake. Are you saying the action of, like, getting yanked off – like, like, or are you saying just the, somebody the premise, taking a long cane let me tell and you, jerking you with it? Let me tell you, <laughs> the, the idea that, like, a board of people in the 40s and 50s or whatever the fuck decided at award shows, hey, if people are going over time, instead of playing music loudly to cue them off, which they've done forever, let's build a 50 to 60 foot long cane... <laughs> That can reach from backstage to the microphone that that is somehow big enough to be lev- levied by like one or a few people to pull one person off all like 50 feet across the stage off screen in an effective way to move on to the next bit. That is a fucking cartoon. That's not I real. think it's possible. I could say it's I look I don't I'm not going to stand by the fact that it's 100% true, find but that footage. definitely sounds find possible. Me footage. Find me footage of fucking I don't even know. Like who's who's uh Clark Gable? Find me footage of Clark Gable being pulled with a fucking cartoonishly large cane off the stage of like the fucking Oscars for going over time with his speech. Find me that footage. It's not fucking real because it's cartoon shit. It's a way for them to Ooh, fucking save on animation. Ooh, also, can you imagine how many know, people man. you get fucking concussions? Fucking people. Oh yeah, people. That's I feel what like I'm talking stopped, about. Like, like they, they stopped would probably using do it. it. I'm like they snapped a lot of necks. using it. Yeah, you're out. They of were your like snapping necks. Mind. Like, oh, okay, hilarious. we should probably stop this. We broke we this guy's this spine because we yanked too hard. <laughs> I love the idea that the, the, that the audience would just slowly kind of see this cane, like coming I out from it. the side, because they couldn't do it as fast as a cartoon, clearly, because that would be fucking Hell insane. No. Oh, of uh, course not. That that's missing frames. But then so- I literally just found footage in 1922. Holy shit! I just <laughs> found it too. What is it? Let me see. So this Put it nigga in the takes chat, a, Derek. <laughs> so this okay, yeah. So this Roman, this guy dressed like a. I, I actually, it's probably Roman. I didn't really, wasn't paying attention. But he's dressed like some type of warrior, and he's doing some gay little dance. You know, he like when it's supposed to like, it's supposed to be over, but he slips under it. Like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna keep going and dancing like a retard because like I, I I'm still in the show. And then motherfuckers backstage get pissed and yank his ass off. Let me see. Like, where is it? If you would, if if you, uh, I'm, I'm I'm about to post it right now. Wait, where's oh, the shit, chat? Just, is there no chat? I, 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 Am I crazy? I, it, I think I just accidentally somehow closed it. The, I think the, I wait. the chat itself. Oh wait, here it is. There it is. I see the oh. chat. <laughs> no, I was. I, I'm just having. It's not giving me the option to. I have oh, here to we see go. This, okay, this is real. Okay, here we go. 
All right, so hopefully this pulls it up. Um, Getty pro- images. Um, no problem. Now, it's exactly how you would imagine how it would be in real life and not how you're imagining it cartoonishly, you know. <laughs> wait, where is it? I don't see it. it. Yeah, uh, like, wait till it shows up. <laughs> I don't have patience for Did this. you click on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like a 31-second clip. And it shows, it shows like this guy that kind of looks like uh, Hitler backstage. This the, is definitely know. a film. Yeah, that's is definitely that, like... That, <laughs> that's, that's, not, film. that's not is that Hitler? Real. That's like a film. Is that it's Hitler? The, the concept is... Like, you understand. Of course, like, the, the concept, yeah. But the con- I think the concept is a cartoon thing. I don't think it is. I, I think I think it happened. And I think it was like, aha, I don't wasn't it funny this happened real. in a cartoon? I don't no, know how that don't, sounds so crazy to you. No, I, I, just, because I don't I, think it happens because like in the cartoon. I am the only one with but... film experience here. That's why it sounds insane. Because this is something that what they would go over. That means nothing. Because they would go over that Hold on. Chris, they go over. Oh, they go delivery. over. They go. They go over the, the the hook. They really do. They go over the they game. Over this is why history. we stopped using you, the hook. You went. You went. You, you went to call. You went to university and shit. And they're like, all right, fucking. All right, here's this chapter on the fucking hook, Kane. I can. I can drag guarantee people off the you. I can stage. guarantee you. I. I. I have one million percent confident that that is not a real thing that they used to do to people on stage when they were taking too long. I am a million percent confident. So what are, are you picturing? Like fucking reputable, prestigious award shows. Because obviously they wouldn't fucking do that there. We're talking about dumbass plays. No, but that's like the point. That's the whole idea is that, that it happens at ass. prestigious so award shows. Do you think shows. they didn't used to Everything... throw fucking like fruit at people? No, no, listen. Everything has happened in the prospect of everybody doing it. There's some. There's a fucking. The pain Olympics are real. That's not a. But you're not going to see Jimmy Fallon shoving a fucking a jar up his anus on the at like on like channel fucking four at like fucking 7 30 p.m i'm talking about real <laughs> actual things the oscars but they're i don't think like, i don't think they ever happened to the oscars i wouldn't say it happened yeah, to the oscars not, yeah, yeah i wouldn't say that let me put but it this I way i would see that as that was the way people got off stage let me let me put it this way i am not i would not be surprised if a child or a man at some point yanked somebody with a cane on the side of the fucking road or on the on like the street because of course, why the fuck not? There are people smoking crack and jerking off in the sewers. Why the fuck wouldn't there be somebody pulling people on the neck with a cane? But that's not what like I'm, a standard look, what, industry what, what, practice. What, 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 you are being you are being very on the spectrum about this. There's, because I, you're you're fixated on like the Oscars or some shit. Of in course. the fucking context of it, not not of course. Even in cartoons, where do they do it? Do they do it at fucking the Oscars? Literally, is this somewhere like, like they're doing a award sketch? shows? The, no, the, no. What? It's usually, it's usually like somebody's doing a fucking comedy bit or something, and yeah, it where sucks does the comedy bit take place? And they yank them off. I don't like, know. Random, what? random comedy saloons. Where does it take place? At fucking clubs and theaters. What are you talking about? Not remember, like at the fucking. The remember thing that I remember specifically was Bug, Bug, Bugs Bunny at like, uh, or like a, it was one of the Looney Tunes or something, and they were at like a an opera or whatever, and they there was a cane that was used to pull them off stage or whatever. That's the one that I remember. Specifically, I, I maybe maybe not maybe not at operas, but that would be fun. I and feel so like it's. I feel that, like but that's what it's I'm not saying. Unbelievable the, what the, happened, what I'm saying is the juxtaposition of that ridiculous method of pulling people off stage, mixed with the very proper format of something like an opera or like a proper stage show or like a prestigious award show, is what makes that funny. Somebody pulling somebody with a cane, if it's meant to be there, in the prospect of like a like a Three Stooges shit, isn't that funny in comparison? And like, imagine if so, Will Smith. Imagine, <laughs> imagine if Will Smith got pulled by a cane before he slapped Chris Rock. That's funny. That's that hilarious. hilarious. But I'm not denying that that's funny. But there is, there's, uh, so the like when you type in the hook, like say for example Donald Duck, there's a clip. It's called the Vanderville Hook. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, What's it and called? And he's uh, the Vanderville Hook. That's Vanderville what it's like hook? called. Like so, yeah, va- va- vaudeville. Sorry, vaudeville. Oh, vaudeville. V a u. Vod- oh I, yeah, I'm fucking. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just, I'm just uh, um, reading it fast like this and trying to. So yeah, it says that. And when you pull up some of the clips, like, uh, what the hell is this? A stream? From Real somebody? vaudeville shows would drop this? the crowbar, or drop the cow on bad, overly long acts with the hook, a certain hook, blah blah blah. blah oftentimes the neck, but in cartoons you don't even so need like to be on stage to get the dumbass acts. Like it's not like prestigious shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So so this happened at like this happened. It, it happened. This is a way of removing people off. Yeah, of yeah, the yeah. stage, unlike right? Eric, unlike Eric Andre level productions of yes, the era. no, yeah. no, not at not at like fucking not at the Grammys, <laughs> not at like an NAACP speech. But 
but I you agree know. with you, Chris. It <laughs> you would know, be like, not like it would be <laughs> so much better if they did. Uh, oh like, no, that it would, would be funny as shit if the middle better. fucking the I have a dream speech. I have a dream that we, <laughs> 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 they pull him the fuck off stage right be before they kill wild. him. If he gets shot, like, they pull him off stage. <laughs> like I would love to see Chris uh, Christopher Judge wrestling with that fucking with the vaudeville hook. Like he's wrestling with the hook. It's yeah, not, he's fucking like. <laughs> It's coming out, and he's fucking fighting. And it it's got him, and he's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> so he goes he into fucking, fucking Spartan Rage, and it's like, oh, he can really do that. He's really cool. like that. <laughs> so yeah. he's, you, you find out he's the only one who actually has, like, magic. He's, <laughs> he's the only guy oh, wow. that magic is real. And they had to make him a white man in the game because they can't give black people that. They can't give that to a black person on stage. <laughs> You think that's what happened? You, th- you think <laughs> they, they were like, we we need the we need the protagonist to be more white. How are we gonna make him more white? Oh, I don't kill his family, and put his ashes on him. I guess. Yeah, and then that was the excuse. White. We'll Doesn't know. Make him more- we'll know. <laughs> we'll know he's black. We can't. We gotta make him even whiter. What if How the vaudeville hook- let him go to Scandinavia? <laughs> what if uh, <laughs> what if the vaudeville hook is just an entity, and it's not wielded by anybody? It just shows up. If I love it, that. If it I doesn't think you're funny, that. it takes you away and it eats you. I love yeah, that yeah. as an as an idea. It's just it's, like so you really so you know truly if, if you're, you're good funny. or not. Yeah, like, yeah you'll yeah. know. Ooh. You'll know because that there's the there's never the deciding taken factor. Me away. I'm still here. I'm funny. I've never Y'all may not seen, be laughing, and that's I've fine. Even, <laughs> I've never even seen the vaudeville hook. That's how good I am. You guys may not be laughing, and that's fine. You can boo me all you fucking want. The hook thinks I'm funny. That's why so, I'm still it, here, bitch. Has so, anyone ever beat the hook, though? No. No, no you can't. No, 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 you can't beat the hook. <laughs> it's just too powerful. You can't. When the hook grabs you and it takes off, it's like a jet taking off. You have, <laughs> you have no chance. You have no chance. <laughs> like an F-22 just decided to fly away. You're gone. That's <laughs> it. That's fucking disgusting. It leaves your clothes behind. That's how fast you get pulled just- away. <laughs> That's so stupid. So it just kills you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy like, fuck. His pants, his pants and shirt are still here. Imagine but, uh, how confident you'd have to be to perform knowing that that could happen. The people that are performing be hilarious. The people that perform would be truly hilarious. Like, truly the funniest motherfuckers ever. A million percent. Yeah. yeah. No, they would be, they would be yeah. top, top tier. No more Amy fucking Schumer's. <laughs> She kind of she's not been in the scene for fucking ages. Doesn't she like she's like a producer now, though, right? She I feel like she produced. She just her. actually brought back her show, um, what? like five episodes of uh, so her sketch comedy show, um, Inside Amy Schumer or something. Really? She brought it back. It's yeah. Spoiler: It's not good. Oh man, I thought she was Did like you watch least, it. I thought I could at least. I had a guy that I trust, a YouTuber. Uh, he he watches shit, so you don't have to. Like, you watch oh, Brendan Schaub's first special, stuff like that, and um, and then he just breaks it down in a very good way. He breaks it down objectively, and I was just like, oh, wow, he's describing all the sketches? And I'm like, well, <laughs> it's just, I don't get it, because I don't, I just, I don't get it. I, I, I just get, I just, I don't know yeah, what thought, people see in her, I guess, but whatever. I thought that I could at least respect the fact Schumer, that right? she stepped away. I, I, I thought I thought I could at least affa- respect the fact that she was like, okay, I'm not good at this. Let me let me step back and produce other comics because that's what she's been. She was she'd been doing for like a number of years. Oh well, mm. yeah, she's related she to got- Chuck Schumer. I'm pretty sure. I think I don't know what the exact relation is, but. I know yeah, that I, think th- I know that is I real. Think that is yeah, real. Um, One time I was watching a Talib like concert and she was there, and I was like, "Why are you here?" She likes. The- why was she? I feel like he wouldn't even want her there. Why are you here? Why are you here? Dude, that that dude. <laughs> have you ever? Have you ever? Um, I haven't watched. Um, I may have followed him in a while, but on Twitter, that motherfucker was so entertaining because he's just he's he's like he's Hotep essentially. He's fucking five percent. He's fuck. He is. It, no, I wouldn't so say that. Inter- I think that's an exaggeration. I, I, he's not I a no. Him quite no. a bit. I followed him quite a bit. I'm a, I'm a big he, fan of him too. He's not him. Bro, he's not a fucking whole tap. He's not like bro, fucking like boozy. He, like he boozy and them are crazy. Is. They're he like basic, insane. He basically is, dude. He he. It's it's to the point where there's a there's a, a white rapper uh, named Diabolic that uh, I used to. I was actually friends with. 
And I would always see them going back and forth. And it was usually, you know, this dude's the white devil and all this shit. And it was the most entertaining shit ever. And I always feel, I always feel we, I always feel awkward about like, I see him on certain shows and then he has to like interact with certain white people. And I'm just thinking, what is he thinking in the back of his head really that he can't say? He's like, because oh, you're going to be buried. You're going to ruin my culture. I know you are. And j- newsflash, newsflash, Not what's reason. happened to hip hop? It's ruined because of. Eminem, not <laughs> stupid. I, I'm. Do, do, do we all agree that Eminem should get back on drugs? Do we all agree? I mean, I, I don't. I, he, he started. He, do we all agree? He was bad well before he got off drugs. In all fair, not bad. I he was disagree. on a decline well before he went. We got off drugs. On I decline. feel like when he went to when he actually got clean, that's when his like the because his anger and frustration. Which really fed into his creativity when he was high. I think it sounds I think fucked up, but he started his mind started clearing as he got older, like simply, and he was like, "All right, now I have to become clean." And I think because he was relapse, recovery, re- revive, all those those are garbage. But even before that, there was a drop in quality. Like I like the Eminem show, but it's definitely not as good as like Infinity or like Marsha Mattis LP one and two. Even part two is not that good. You know, it's it's a decline. Yeah, part two was uh, was after all that shit. It's it was a steady decline. You know, no no shade to him. I think when it comes to freestyle rappers, which is his thing, he is probably like number number between number one and three. Look, here's the question. Here's the thing, and this is what I is uh, I absorb a lot of music. I do notice with most artists that after um, a couple of decades or whatever. Their music does decline. It's just not as good as it used to be. The question is why, and what I mean by that is there is it's rare. And here's an example. Here's a rare, rare example. So Slipknot's been out for about twenty some years. Mm-hmm. The their their two albums. The first two albums are, or really the first three albums are like critically acclaimed and stuff. Whatever. And usually their most popular song came from that era of early two thousands. However, two thousand nineteen they dropped an album. And one of the singles on that album is just as popular as anything they released almost two decades ago, which is a, a really almost impossible thing to do. There's very and few so, artists that have that. Like the only, like, the only artist, I think that's proof, like rap wise, because people, the people say like, oh, you're a goat for a period of time, but it changes. Nas recently, he had an album with Kanye West in like 2014, 15. And it was a bad album because Kanye, at, at in general, is not able to focus himself to make a project other than his. He'll, yeah, he'll yeah, work yeah. on his project. He'll do work I for that, that. But he, that. he'll be scatterbrained. Nas has recently come out with three albums, King of Disease 1, 2, and 3, and each and every one of them has reached higher heights than the previous ones. Nas is acclaimed as, like, the greatest rapper of all time. He's every rapper's favorite rapper. Yeah. And now so, he's proven, uh, he's just again proven at 47 year old that if you got it, you still got it. You know, same thing with Jay Z. People hate Jay Z all they want. Jay Z has proven that if he's going to sit down and make a project, it will be a good project if he wants it to be. Well, what do you think? But, like, I guess, what do you think it is about? Because you would think everybody would want to make music on the same level as the stuff that really got them to break through. Well, it's because of commercial so, deals, man. You get on out, you get on record labels. They're like, you got to have this out, right? Well, let's then let's even let's even think of like like, like an artist that are that aren't even at that level. It just seems to. Is it maturity? Is it like say an Eminem? Is it is it mature? Is it like you're just an old dusty ass nigga and you just don't want to do shit anymore? Really? And is it's, that you, it? You change. You know the biggest the biggest thing is that people's sounds change. You know artist sounds change. It's it's how it works. You know it's like how your taste changes. And even if it's something is not good, it's different from what people want them to have. So people <laughs> will complain about it. It's happened to Rise Against. People didn't like the last like three Rise Against albums, even though I still think they're good albums. They're just different. You know, same thing with um. You with, feel the same way about that, Chris? Uh, no? I've liked every single they're one of them. Different. To be honest with you, I, I think uh, but, Wolves, which was 2017, I thought was not very good. But I think it was that was mostly because it was like the mixing on that record was just like really rough. Like it was like mixed. I don't, I don't even hate. I don't even hate wolves. It's but, just like it's just different. But yeah, I mean, because the, they're the, aging, they're getting the th- older. But the thing that I would agree with is is just generally, it's like it. It really depends on the music that you're making too, because like some, I mean, 
when you're doing stuff like uh, punk or 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 rock, like really like hard rock or anything like that, you, your voice is going to decline. Oh, like, of course. Uh, like of course. in, in compare, if you're rapping, like that's that's a breeze in comparison. As your far voice as like will change, but it as won't far as break. as far as like <laughs> as far as like the strain on your on your voice, and then, you know, obviously, you know, some people deal with that better over over time. But I uh, I don't think look, I don't think Rise Against is ever going to come out with an album that surpasses uh, Suffer and the Witness, and that was like 2000, center, 2000, 2006. And but that's fine by me. Why do you think that is? Because but I think like, why well, do you think that is? Well, because I uh, well. For me, I just think like that was a very particular. That's a very specific time, and that was I was also a very specific age. I was also just mm. in a very specific place where like I found that album at a time where it it would just so happen to like influence me in in a way that no other. It's the same thing with video games. To be honest, like the video games that I played around that time were like way, 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 way more, um, important almost like religiously important to me than anything that's. Like I don't care if the next several like ten Halos are bad. Like it, it, it disappoints me that they are, but it doesn't it doesn't matter because I already had that, you know, with that. Mm. Um, interesting. Same thing. And, same thing with like um, like artists, right? Like Kendrick Lamar, right? One of my favorite artists. Every everybody, everyone's a fan of him somewhat, you know. But he made um, what you call it, Pimp Butterfly," right? Everyone will always say "Butterfly" is his best album, right? I agree. I think it's his best piece of work. He's made. Three, two studio albums since then, and he's made like one collaboration album. And people, he's probably never gonna surpass that because at that, when you're when you're a newer artist, right, you make one you make one project, right, and it's good. You make one really good project, and like, can you top that new that project, right? And you top it, and what happens is that people are gonna constantly want you to reach that high height, but no one ever really does. No one ever, no one constantly tops themselves because it's hard to. Not without, because not without some, you, not without some misses. I, I think, uh, I think, it, I, I don't know. I think it comes down to like maybe true. like being Even what Nas did. He had some misses, and he got now he's at like his I, he's up with Illmatic again. You know, I, th- I think it might come down to boredom too. Like you might just get bored of kind of the same. Like people try to like maybe like do some extra shit where it's like let me try something completely different, and that works out really great sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I think Paramore is a fucking fantastic example where like. Paramore was doing kind of like the same thing for a little bit, and then they just completely, it fucking completely shifted. Like the have last, have you heard two- their newest, their newest EP? Yeah, I like it. I, I like it a lot. I love it. Here's here's the interesting I, thing, because I, I, I have a ever different opinion about that. I think their music is good. The new shit, like twenty thir- um after twenty thirteen, like twenty seventeen to now, the the latest shit that they've dropped, I like it. But to me, it's more of a. This is my wish. This is me of being a. St- not stubborn is not the word I'm looking for. It's more but, like Haley uh, Williams doing her own thing. Yeah, the Haley Williams experience, and I miss Paramore. Paramore was one of my all time favorite fucking bands, and I'm I like agree. that shit. Now I will say there is a, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, maybe there's an, a chance that they could come back because, um, even though I don't like his music, Machine Gun Kelly is reviving pop punk. And um, Demi Lovato recently dropped a pop punk album that's actually kind of good. It's actually like Demi Lovato. Really, I was surprised. Yeah, I that's, was actually pleasantly surprised that it was good. It wasn't like fucking dog shit. Um, because whoever she worked with knew what they were doing, and she like Machine Gun Kelly. I he can play the guitar. He this the the the, the instruments are fine. But he's just dog shit as a pop person. punk artist. He just doesn't <laughs> get it. Oh, yeah, and a person. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. just it full, full of through. Just a piece of shit. And Look, I, 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 but I, 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 one thing I give him, his albums were so fucking popular that I'm seeing somewhat of a revival of pop punk, which I've always been a big fan of. So I'm hoping. Look, I Bro, hate pop did, punk. You heard uh, um, Fall Out Boy, their latest song. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's actually not, it's bad, actually not bad at all. But, but you know what's like, crazy about that shit, song? Stop, oh, go ahead. That what's song up? sounds a lot like... That, sound, that song sounds like Thanks for the Memories era, like the, like 2008. Like, That's it sounds, what I'm saying. And it's kind of interesting that they're able to do that. Um, and I, look, I don't know. Look, I, guys, look, look. I'm the, I'm the, I am the one person on Always. I The pop punk era music was genuinely my least favorite 
Like I hated being alive at that period of time. I hated. I hated existing. I hated existing. How dare you? Because I just that was not. I I did not think it was good music. I thought it was very whiny and 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 way sure, more I mean, serious. A, a lot of it is than it a was. It and is, I was sure. like, this is dumb. And I was surra- I was surrounded. I was surrounded by people that invalidated my music choice for that period of time. I was stuck around them, and I couldn't go anywhere to figure. I couldn't drive. I couldn't take a train back to the city because I was like 12, 13. But for more classic Paramore, I will suffer the pop punk. I will, I will happily, <laughs> I will <laughs> suffer it. Bro, there's some good the ass pop- shit. I, I don't know, man. I, no, I, I like pop punk isn't even that bad of a genre, personally. It's like, it's really not that it's bad the biggest, of a genre. Because it, I here, like Fall Out Boy. Here's the thing. <laughs> I like them, you know? Here's the thing. It's, it's always like the, the fucking, I don't know. It was like this with the 80s, too. And, and like, we, there are songs. Uh, especially when you're growing up in that time that are very popular and are very annoying. I never liked all American rejects and fucking like, I don't know, like that shit. Like it always bothered the hell out of me. I was never huge on my chemical romance, but like there was some stuff that I I really fucking thought was really cool. Um, I thought his voice was awesome. And and the guitar, like Mm. my chemical romance reminds me like guitar wise, like they remind me a lot of like queen, like the way that they were able to like fucking, just rip some crazy shit and just like do these weird That's key fair. changes and it yeah. was like really operatic. Very cool shit. Um, and it's the same thing with anything. It's like, I, dude, some of the some of the hip hop that I remember growing up with, the, the stuff that was really popular was so fucking horrible. Like, or, oh, or just so so grating. Like it's getting oh, hot in it. Fucking shut the fuck up, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Atla- dude nice. Remembering remembering <laughs> the Atlanta era of hip hop music. That's when rock died, and and, and hip hop started becoming the thing. And that's when Soldier Boy and all those motherfuckers showed up, and they ruined hip hop. They stained the they stained our genre of music. All those Southern fucks. I hate the South for that shit. They ruined. <laughs> Hip hop. They made white people hate it more because all they did was joke about the worst parts of it. Yeah, and but, I had to suffer but, that as a child. With but, I'll, this but, lament, but I'll, this but, I'll but I'll say this: like, I don't know, man. Like, I think uh, that new Paramore album is really fucking good. Like, even even I like from it. this um, is why it's awesome, man. I think uh, yeah, the the news is great. Like fucking, it, it's just I don't know. It's it. I like that. I understand what people say when when they're like, "Oh, I wish I wish we got more of that stuff." And I think honestly, to Rise Against has been consistent for a long time. Like their sound has been pretty much entirely the same, and I love that. It's like old reliable. But the expense of that is I'm never going to hear a Rise Against album again that takes me, that takes me by surprise. I'm going to hear one that I like for sure. Like it's going to be like, "Oh, I like this one," and this is going on my playlist for sure. Like there's never been one that's come out that has no songs that I I put on my playlist you know what i mean there's always something there that i really like but it's never going to like surprise me in the same way that i was surprised when i first found them and i like that paramore is able to do this where they're able to have like that like misery business kind of and you know that they can do that but then they can do something like this is news or after laughter and it's like and they're able to make it really well and it's surprising and it's enjoyable that they it's cool to know that an artist that you respect and like is versatile in that way and I wish, I, I wish more artists would do that. Like, I, I even if it's weird. Like, one of my favorite things recently was, um, uh, the lead singer of of Rise went on. Um, oh, what the fuck is it? I can't remember what. Um, I, was it? Did hold it on, Jimmy Fallon. Ed's, no. Yeah. Oh man, they started what a project the fuck together. Is it? Oh, A Wall Nation. They did a song with. He did a song with A Wall Nation, and it was like really weird. It was like not what I would expect out of him and it was pretty fucking cool. It was like it was a different vibe entirely. Um mm. but I was like this what is mean, dope. Do I want more. Tim? Tim yeah, did? T- yeah, Tim McGarrett. He, he it was it was Beds are burning or something. It's not my favorite it's song really, ever. It's but, really like, funny I think it's cool. because like <clears throat> it's I funny more because you it's it's funny mm-hmm. because they're um they're constantly I don't know if they're from New York, but the Rise they're Against Chicago. people are constantly from they're constantly spotted with the Lincoln Park. Obviously, because they're obviously they're cool. They're the same they're, like era uh, music. Rise Against is Chicago, and so are Fall Out Boy, I think, as well. And, and, and like a lot of it those was guys. funny how often you would see them at like hip hop concerts. Like that was a thing. You would just see like Rise Against us at like a fucking like Jay Z concert or like at a Kanye concert, and it's like what the. It's what weird, the yeah. Fuck? This is weird. Why? Why are they like? They have every right to be here. That's just music. But like, what are it you is weird. doing it's weird. here? 
or like the, or like fucking um what you call it was spotted at um this is the weirdest thing that threw me before this is one before Chester passed but he was spotted at like a Joey Badass concert and like he was giving like nineteen year old Joey Badass that's like how fire his raps are and it's like yeah this is music they like obviously a musician could tell another good musician but like what are you doing here. Why are you just in Brooklyn, Chester? Just chilling out in Brooklyn, singing in the hot, singing in the subway. Like, what are you doing? That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I like that. I like the, um, the diversity and then collabs. I mean, they could have been working on some weird shit. You never know. That's true. Like uh, that has never got I, released. Yeah, I mean, fucking uh, Chester actually was working with uh before he died the the lead guitarist of Lamb of God. They did a project together, which was fucking bizarre. Because they're just, their genres are, I mean, they're still technically in the metal genre, but they're so vastly different. So it was weird hearing this shit that sounds like Lamb of God, but has Chester's vocals over it. I was like, I've never in my life would I have put that shit together. And I love, I because I was, hip hop been doing this shit forever. Collabs. It just makes sense. And I, I'm glad that a lot of rock musicians are starting to catch up in being like, oh yeah, let's fucking jump on. I'm gonna jump on your project. I'm gonna jump on yours, and that's uh that's something that um, I'm trying to do myself currently with just trying to. Um, I've been working on a bunch of stuff behind the scenes, and I'm trying to just tap a bunch of people on the shoulder um, just to get different flavors because it's it's just cool. It just sounds cool, like like collabs, even if they're not even like. You may not even know who the fuck the person is, for example, but then you just hear this different voice like, oh, shit, who's this person? This sounds really dope with this music and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, it's fun, man. It's fun, but I wonder... You, I, I was thinking about that Coheed and Cambria, and uh, I was thinking about that song. I think it's called Welcome Home, if, yeah, I, if yeah. I remember that correctly. Mm -hmm. And to me, that, those that's one of those songs that... You know, in the pop punk era, it was like, oh, this is what I'd consider like a masterpiece. Mm. And I wonder, are we going to get, it's been a long time since I've heard anything like that where I was just, because I've listened to the rest of Coheed and Cambria's catalog and I'm it's not, not really as a good. fan. It's not as good. Like, it's Welcome Home, <laughs> Welcome Home is, I mean, much respect, you know, like I'm not big on them. I don't think they're bad or anything, but like it's, it's Welcome Home is objectively <laughs> like, the the one big like yeah. like that is a great fucking that that riff is awesome like so uh, it's I, I, that was one of the first things I I wanted to learn how to play like when I got a guitar I was like Ooh. I have to learn how to play this because mm. it's such a fucking like how do you make that sound what, like what even is the like <laughs> like the theory like the music theory behind making that riff is fucking awesome but so um, good. yeah yeah I don't and, know and I just wonder like yeah somebody. Um, maybe is can you think of a song that has come out since then that that really impressed the fuck out of you? You're just like, wow, that was that was excellent. Mm, um, uh, I, I, there's only, and I'm talking about literally this year. Since you, uh, then, like like it, since this, think of like say maybe just think of a song that you when you when you've heard it and it, it's just it's so fucking impressive like where you think like this like is like a song period or we like trapped yeah, in the genres? yeah just think it's not even just a, like it's something that is so it's almost too good it, if you if you know what i'm saying cuz i feel like that was that song like when i when i hear it i was like it kind of almost killed them because none of their other shit sounded any close to anything like that and um, it, it was just I, you, like, wow, you know, this is a very I, this, this is going to oh no, this, this is a bit off topic this different artist very different artist very different genre the song that Logic Logic made an album called um, No Pressure, which is like it's supposed to be an album he retired with, but he came back afterwards and continued rapping because you know he was yeah. What, what, what was that about? Because he, <laughs> people he people were trying to force him on the game because of the fact that he he is like a regular like most people is very uh, he's a sensitive guy you know so people constantly talking shit he's about a little him bitch nigga tearing he's him a little down bitch half he, have you guys, he is a have bitch, you guys, he's a bitch ass hybrid nigga he is let, let, let me ask you guys <laughs> something let me ask you guys something have you heard <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, logic's most recent um he did a song with he did a song with seth mcfarlane with sinatra. yeah no not no he did it with seth mcfarlane not sinatra he did a song <laughs> but with, it he sounds did a, like sinatra he did, he did a song with seth mcfarlane and it's awesome <laughs> like it's like it's a really good fucking vibe I, somehow and it's the most but, confusing thing i've ever i was like what? you saying that it's awesome totally threw me off guard and i was like it's not at all what's crazy is this i i, I, I love logic right? like i've been a fan of his since uh 
Like I was like 2015, like a long time ago, my friend Jalen's sister Naila put me on to him because they're half black. So they were like, listen to him. He's fucking, he's dope. And I was like, <laughs> your light skin, your rap choice doesn't matter as much. But, you know, <laughs> it was funny as shit. So um, we, I, I listened to it and I was like going over his song and his song called No Pressure where it starts, where it's like talking about like it's, um, it's Orson Welles sp- speaking lyrics and he starts rapping, and it has the voice of David, not David, who does Solid Snake's voice? Oh, David Hayter, right? That's right. He did. He David, got David Hater. Hater on a track. That song. David Hater's on the. <laughs> dude, he's on, he's on the intro dude, to the I, album, what bro. Are, what and are, it's amazing. Dude, I'm, I'm it's, not, I'm it's not, so good. I was I, like, I, what the fuck? Logic, Logic has become one of the people that I like. I pay explicit attention to whenever he puts out a new song because he's like the people he chooses to work with are so weird that I have to hear it. Like it's it's I, just like Seth MacFarlane and, like, and David Hayter. He's a Hader. fucking nerd. Yeah, he's yeah. a dweeb. A famous nerd, a famous talented nerd. So that makes sense. I love it. I, lo- so I I'm love gonna get the Family Guy guy, and I'm gonna get. My, I love fucking Metal Gear Solid, so I'm gonna work with David Hayter. Dude, like, it's, it's probably it's shit such, like that. It's such an amazing beat, and you start bumping to That's it. That's cool as shit, like, actually. And you go through it. In fact, they also have put Orson Welles in the album, which is. One of the coolest people in history, genuinely, though he may be a fucking drunk, he's an awesome person. So it's just like going yeah, through it, like listening to him, you're just like, I, what are you doing? Logic's cool. I like it. I, 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 hmm. I like I'll check, Logic. I'll check it out. I'll check I, it I didn't, out. I, I didn't the even, no pressure intro. It'll, it's going to surprise the shit out of you. I, yeah, I didn't even know that he was doing anything. So. Yeah. I wasn't super into yeah, Logic was- until maybe like the last maybe like couple months to be honest. Like I, I, I always heard oh, like I, oh I, interesting. I heard bits and I heard bits of it and I was like yeah I like this. Uh, but I you know I never sought it out. But like that that David Hater one was like this is so good <laughs> that I'm gonna like he gets, he gets made fun of a lot in hip hop because of the fact that he he like Drake like many other artists uh, he's vulnerable. He's like he's not going out there it's trying to be the much. hardest motherfucker ever. And what happened is he was does openly he, does he do talking a lot about of, his uh, problems. Does he do a lot of like uh, I cried today and it wasn't enough or whatever? Like, <laughs> well, no, not like that. No, he, he does more. He does more like he talks about his trials, you know, whether it right. be mental, uh, social, was, and people were opinion, like, and people were like, oh, you fucking bitch ass nigga. You. I don't think it's I don't think it's a problem at all because if either because most people are talking about selling drugs and bullshit. And he's just like, well, over my end, I'm talking about like what I what I've lived, obviously. Yeah. Like people don't make fun of um people don't make fun of uh what's his name? Uh, I love Wait, him. Um, it- what's the, he sells drugs? All he, all he does is sell drugs. But he raps so well about selling drugs. I forgot his name. It's uh, Pusha T. Pusha T is an amazing rapper, right? <laughs> all he talks about is selling drugs, but he does it in a great way. Every it's been 15 years, bro, and you're like, he's not gonna be able to make a bar about selling drugs, impressive, and then he does, and you're like, yeah. wow, I almost he almost got me, I almost was vindicated by this. Selling drugs, pretty cool, man. But then logic, like he talks about just like his life as a half black person, and it's look. invalidated because he's light skin or invalidated look, look. shit, and it's just like, come there was, on, dude. Could, well, see, he would be rapping about that shit too. Uh, I'm bi- biracial and they don't like me. Like it's just like shut the fuck up, man. Have a little bit of confidence. And here's the thing. Here's I the disagree. thing. There's, look, I disagree. there's a bunch. Of, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. There's a bunch of bands, especially in the pop punk era, that had "Don't Kill Yourself" songs. They had them because you know because a lot of those type of people ha- they kill themselves. That era of time so they, was the kill yourself. So time. they want to <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah. So, time. so they make songs. Fucking a bunch <laughs> of the bands did it. Like they they were like because they, they understood. But so Logic did the same thing. But this is where people found it corny in the hip hop community. The name of the song was the Suicide Hotline. Oh yeah, yeah and yeah, so yeah. it was kind of like it, it just immediately felt fucking corny. Where it's like you can make a song about this I, shit, I, what, but kind of like what's almost corny like advertising. About that? You, you see, it's pretty. Corny. It's, it's, it's from it's, from the it's artist's legit, perspective. It's, it's, legit, it's, it's legitimately look at, look at, it's, not though. Well, see, look at see from artist's perspective, it's like it's kind of like this. Say you wanted to draw a paint a beautiful picture of like a fucking chicken or whatever. All right, cool, you did it. But then it's also putting a huge fucking sign that says chicken, where it's like, yeah, I fucking know, dude. Like I know it's a it's a fucking like why it's one of those glaringly things that just kind of like just it, it's something that is it's really not a problem, obviously. 
but like it's just as an art it art, comes across choice it's it, like it, I, I, I i remember that yeah. i remember that it, it, it just, just comes like it comes about across everything bro i think it's no, like no, that's no no it's it's no, there, that there are so plenty there not are plenty that big of a deal it's not about it's not it being that deal. big of a deal. No one's saying like to kill. No one's saying that Logic should kill himself over it. It's just like it's just like a lame. <laughs> it's just like a lame creative choice. It's just like kind of bland. Yeah, it's just it's like eh, it's a little corny, man. Like it's just that's I, straight I, up. I thought it was like I don't. I personally don't like that song. <laughs> personally, <laughs> I heard that song. Like I don't care about people killing yeah. themselves. I'm not. That's not my problem. But the fact is that like. Like, like I love Logic and Joe because I think he's a good rapper. I think, unfortunately, he collabed with Eminem, and you know that drops your stock a little bit. Cotton pot, cotton shot. <laughs> but you know, other than that, Drop I think, top I think he's an amazing artist, and I've been a fan of his for a while. And I'm just like, damn, this awfully hot coffee pot. That's dude, that's like shove it in my ass. No, Probably it does not, not. Chris. That cipher sucks. Chris, you can't say that cipher sucks. He, that intro's very bad. It's very bad. But he still repaired it. And I'm like, how? It's just so lame. It's just such a fucking lame. It's insane, dude. Am I wrong? Look, dude. Look, look. It's stupid. I think I ended up on The fact that he used that segue is dumb. (laughs) But he still cleaned it up. It's not about the segue. It's not about the It's orange. Yeah, it's this not nigga's a, orange. It's not about the. It's not about the corny segue. It's just about the like why he's it's, he's freestyle rapping incredibly slowly about something that's not controversial at all. It was just so lame and bland and safe and like fucking who cares? Of course you hate Donald Trump. You're a fucking rapper. Of course, of fucking course. Who Dude, cares? I think, that was fu- I think it was fire. I, I just think thought it was bar for yo- bar was fire. I was like Jesus Christ. That's an awfully like- hot coffee pot. Should I spill that- it on Donald Trump? Probably not. Like fucking shut yeah. up, shut up. I, I don't even hate Eminem like you. Like I actually bars. like I actually like Eminem, but I just like I just stop it. Just stop. It was still just go bars, to bed. Bro. Go to bed. I cannot yeah. deny his ability, that was, bro. Um, I, my uh, my parody of it. I think it ended up on World Star because I got so much hate. It was so funny because I, I just I random I just went to a parking lot. Grabbed some toys and my friend had a Hulk, um, Incredible Hulk poster, and that was my fucking entourage, just you know watching and shit. And I was just saying random shit. I don't even remember what I was saying. And uh, I threw it up on, and I think I got like half a mil. And it was so much, so many haters. This fat ass nigga, this and this. And I was laughing so hard because I was like, where did this get posted? I didn't even know because it was just, it was people that don't watch me that just yeah, somehow yeah, just saw some random in the comment guy. section. That shit and was, I was like, powerful, bro. <laughs> I love making people mad, bro. It's really bad. It's so funny. It's it was a so really, funny. really, really, really bad mentality to have. But it's it, so it's fucking fun, fun bro. Sometimes it's, it's fun. It's so bad. I love upsetting people. We, like for do you real, remember, like do you remember really, when I the love uh, it. sorry? <laughs> do you remember when Prince Harry got married to uh, a- Angela Merkel? Whatever the fuck her name I don't is. Know what the, the fuck you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. So uh, this this happened in like 2017 or some bullshit. I only remember this because everyone was talking about it. I I don't give a solitary fuck about that shit. The royal wedding. Who cares? But uh. I put on one of my side channels that said the truth about the royal wedding. And it was just 10 minutes of a guy, like the reporter saying, Prince Harry seems nervous. And then I just burp into the camera. And then it just <laughs> cycles for 10 minutes. And it was the the amount of people that were furious and just mad that like thought it was going to be a real thing it gave me like the hardest dick it was so fucking funny it's, it's because good. like it was the it was the it was the dumbest thing that i could i think of i was like all right i, I, I really want to just like fuck with people and i thought like maybe there would be a couple of people like ah oh, yeah you got me but there was people that were actually mad i'm like that's why i made it thank you it <laughs> makes me feel good knowing i hurt them it's yeah like, it makes I mean, me feel good I don't, it's just like shit like that it's it's you know, some people get very upset over things that I'm like, ah, come on, man, it's not that, it's not that. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta fucking bad. relax a little bit. Like, who the fuck cares <laughs> yeah, about these people? I don't even know these people. Like, you say, you said Angela Merkel or whatever, and I, I, I'm not even, I'm not even slightly kidding. I can't conjure an image of this person in my head. Like, I do not know what this person looks like. I, 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 I don't even know if that's her name properly. Yeah, I, I really so, don't every know. Every time I say her name, I think of uh, the ex prime minister of Germany. I think that's I probably think her name who was that like is Angela actually. Merkel or something. <laughs> Hold on a second. Wait, yeah, who's the, I don't sure. even know. I really don't even know. Like, who's the fucking 
Prince Harry. It's Prince Harry, right? Is that wait? Is Prince Charles? So. Is Prince Charles the pedophile or is Prince Harry the pedophile? Oh my god! I did say wait. It's which Charles? Her na- I, I I said her name wrong because it's What's definitely um. It's Meghan Markle's. Oh, Meghan, Meghan Markle. Markle. I said I said Angela Merkel. That was the fucking <laughs> the, the, the Minister of Germany. former Chancellor of Germany. <laughs> what makes it so funny is that you said that, and my brain was just like, I, all right, I knew her name. I know her name. I know where her name is. <laughs> Because unfortunately, British, my family, dude, my family is tied in with them. British people fucking, are gonna fucking watch this. British like, celebrity culture is so like I couldn't, I couldn't give a fuck. I couldn't give it's a fuck garbage. who these people are. Like there are some British comedians that I like, like David Webb and like Jimmy Carr and that and that shit. But that's that's about all. That's it. That's all I'm paying attention to. I like Ricky Gervais. I like old oh, kind of. He's kind of gotten weird lately. He's gotten a little cringe. He kind of I seems still stuck like him. in 2016. Yeah, he's very. He's like, oh, like there's eh. a lot of people who are stuck. Or, or, like he does that that material now, where like he comes out with a new special. And it's just him reading things off of Twitter, and it's like, ah, this is kind of lazy. Yeah, yeah, Which is yeah, frustrating yeah. too because he's funny. Like, uh, I've, yeah, like he's I like on, him a lot. One of my favorite jokes. One of my favorite jokes ever ever is is by ricky gervais i don't even think it's like necessarily his he told it on uh comedians in cars or whatever uh i wish i could remember it exactly but it was like it was something like along the lines of like uh a guy uh, a jewish man dies in a in a in a um in a concentration camp and he goes up to heaven and he tells god a holocaust joke and god doesn't laugh and uh the guy goes i guess you had to be there <laughs> I love that joke. So that joke is That's fucking awesome. Because <laughs> God That's wasn't stupid. there, dude. That's a good one. That's but a good one, though. That's a good one. It's good, but like it's it like, works on like a few different levels. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like good. a multi like that. That's that's a screenplay. That joke. <laughs> <laughs> the fact but, that you, the fact that that joke makes you laugh so much is hilarious to me. I, it's a good well, joke, it, but it's, it's like, not about it making me. It, it doesn't make me laugh. It, like it, it's just objectively like a good joke. Like it's it's just there's because there's like seven layers to it. Where like and every layer you yeah. think of it, it's like it works like, on every single yeah, one of those there's levels. More. It's not like a Norm Macdonald joke where like it goes I on forever like with like the joke. fucking dumbest payoff in the world, and I and I crack up laughing. It's like a different. <laughs> that's a very different thing. But all right, let's get into the fucking. Uh, yeah, you know, you we should do, been, guys. You ever been ice skating and uh, you fucking fell down and you ah. a dog turned yeah. into Adolf Hitler right before your eyes? That's not anything that like, he would say. What? But uh, let's go into let's he go into questions. Me with okay, a toothbrush. Okay. He wouldn't say that. He wouldn't he say that. Me I know. With a toothbrush. Oh, he wouldn't no say way. that. I've watched all his content. I can't imagine Norm Macdonald saying he fucked me with a toothbrush. <laughs> it's fucking insane. <laughs> Uh, Dorm McDonald is like uh, this Hitler guy. He sounds like a real jerk. That's yeah, that's a Norm McDonald joke. But I'm not a big fan knuckle, of this knucklehead. Guy, you know? uh, all right, let's move on. To some fun fact: strawberries are not berries. Also, your rectum has taste buds that are not fully functional. Have a nice day. Well, so they're not then, are they? Um, mm. Hey, prophets of the podcast. Since I am moving across the states, I wanted to ask if you have any advice for someone moving far away from home. Love the show. Please make some merch so I can give you money. Yeah, we really got to get on that. I've been too fucking swept from... Actually, actually, Ren is like an artist. I should talk to him. I don't know why I haven't thought it. He's like literally in the other room. Anyway, as far as like moving across state or uh, moving like super far away from home, what you have to do is cut ties to everything. Uh, live as a mountain man almost like don't for, for your previous life you as you remember yourself are dead this is a new you this is a different world okay yeah, particularly cut off your family yeah cut off your family friends everybody who's ever loved you and supported you um you're alone you're alone you're, you're alone. alone now you're alone. and just that's fucking it. deal with it that's that's what you got to do fucking deal with it don't cry at all if you cry you lose and uh, and just fucking <laughs> fucking suck it up. I don't know what to tell you, man. Anyway, moving just on. Suck it up. <laughs> no. What the fuck? If you cry, you lose. What the fuck? Let's play a game. If you cry, you lose. I don't know. <laughs> if you cry, you I mean, die. Right? You nigga, cry, just die. get to work as fast yo, as possible. Can you imagine? And then fuck your coworkers. Can you fucking? Can you? Uh, yo, honestly, for real, can you imagine? Like a game between I don't know a close group of friends. Let's say the three of us, right? We have a bet. It's like, all right, guys, let's play a game. First person to cry loses. And then we just go through life 
and then we have to we like every funeral, every wake, every single like every wet, every sad, every sad thing that we know this is happening. Is we accompany we accompany that friend to that event to make sure he doesn't cry. <laughs> and just like all this, if you cry, you lose. And that's it. And we're all just not crying. And Did to you the see point Kate? that it's like you once a year, once a year, you can do something really fucked up to me, and I can't cry. Did you, see, he just can't. Did, you, did you fucking see Kingston at his fucking wife's funeral and how like he just didn't he, he didn't even go up to the thing just... he didn't he didn't he he looked completely stoic and he was wearing sunglasses <laughs> and like he and he brought those guys with him like what like what? <laughs> like a fucking like a click they walk in farewell Lily I love yeah. that idea <laughs> that's it au revoir right. see you I fucking <laughs> enjoyed that idea but, <laughs> later. <laughs> but no, fuck. I don't know. I don't know what advice I would give to somebody moving that far away from home, though. Like, because uh, I just sort of are you moving I, by I, yourself. I, well, I mean, he can't respond. You know, like <laughs> he's moving by himself this week because we did the whole move. We did with people. Did with yeah, yeah, you guys did some really uncanny shit. What do you usually mean? people don't do that. Like yeah, people don't usually people? move together like there's some gay boys in a fucking Ford F one fifty. You know, hey man, it's usually like an individual. It was too, it, thing. It, thing. It, it was, on our it was, lifestyle. It was too funny. It, it, like the thing is, it's like if if any of any one of us were to move too far away from the other one, we would understand that life would be le- way 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 less funny, and that wasn't worth yeah. it. So we just decided to fucking go where the funny are, and then that was that was that was the main goal. Like for me, I was like, I can't be here alone and not laugh. It sucks. So I followed I'll a bunch die. of random people. Yeah, I'll die. I'll like I, I yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but like die. If it, it, if you're going by yourself, then like I mean, I, my assumption would Best be my assumption would be that you are going to a place where you have to know someone, you know, because nobody I, I, in my experience, I don't know, nobody I know has moved somewhere completely like where there's just no like there's no family, no friends, no nothing. You gotta have at least to have some acquaintances or like or at least some idea of what you want to do. Like if you're moving to like I don't know. Um, Seattle for, for if you're moving to Seattle for like tech reasons or if you're moving to like fucking New York for theater or fucking Florida for meth like whatever there's got to be something <laughs> that you know is going to either make that easy for you in the sense that like you're going into something that you understand is a part of the culture of where you're going or uh, if you're not doing that and you're just being like I want to move to Oregon because I heard it rains like you're going to be fucked like you're fucked like sorry yeah Terrible reason to go mushroom, anywhere. Mushroom Terrible reason to go anywhere. My biggest, my biggest, my biggest thing is that don't move anywhere for reasons that are not that. Don't move anywhere f- ever. Period. Yeah, that's that's the yeah, advice. That's, yeah, that's great. Stay that's in it. your yeah, fucking like, room. Don't move. Stay in your room. Wither away. <laughs> masturbate and die. You fucking just stay there. Stay in a room because your room mm. is the safest place because there's danger all around you. There's even a, a bunch of danger in your room, but it's less, and yeah, you yeah, could yeah. die because you're very diable. You're, yeah, you are very you can diable. Die anytime. Yeah. And you be, when you, you leave, you should be scared. In fact, you should be terrified. You, in fact, when you leave your room, you be scared there, of me. When you leave your room, there is a non-zero chance that Ebola will find you. But if you stay indoors yeah. and don't do anything, you're safe. You are you are safer than anybody could possibly hope to be. Look at Corpse Husband. He's a sick. He, he's he, his his throat is broken, and I'm sure he hasn't been outside in fucking months. He's still alive. I feel like if he inhales too much, he'll die a flat death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a bu- I have a theory that Corpse Husband is absolutely a bubble boy. Do you know what I mean? Bubble, Probably. Bubble, bubble. Like, he's, in, about how he's in a hermetically like sealed name. Corpse Husband. It's a terrible fucking bubble, name. Bubble, 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 bubble. Corpse Husband. Like, isn't it like, you know what the name should be. Yeah. Like, there's Corpse Bride. Well. So, it's supposed to be... That would right? be gay. Right? Is, is that not... That would be gay, Derek. Is that not the reason? That's me. That's my course. Would, would it be gay? <laughs> if he was... <laughs> corpse groom? <laughs> would, would that... God, he sucks. Was like, I saw, I saw be a corpse video... Is that, is that it? I saw a video of him Do breathing. Do I just not understand? Did you see that video of him breathing and everybody was, like, flipping out about it? Oh, they're freaking out? I, I don't even understand, like, what does he what does he do? He just does shitty music, basically. You know? He's just uh, a SoundCloud... It's, 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 he's, a, he's a SoundCloud rapper. It's just rapper. not music I'm going to care he, about. He's a SoundCloud rapper that doesn't show his face. Therefore, people are more interested in him because there's a mystery. Uh, that's literally it. It's, uh, it's, like, it's, uh, that's literally the only thing. What was the, the, the happy face guy? Uh, that oh, a uh, dream? His face. <laughs> but the <laughs> fact is... What's that, his name? I'm failing all my classes. Wait, 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 wait. His name's What's Dream. 
Dream, 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 dream. That's it. That's it. That's what yeah, the and then mask he looked like, is. They yeah, then he was just like this <laughs> white guy that was just all happy yeah. or whatever. And then, I was like, oh, and then boring. immediately, <laughs> immediately, as if divine, no one gave a shit. Like he posted his picture. Everybody was like, he's ugly or he's average or whatever. And then like. I haven't heard about Dream since at all. Dream, <laughs> Dream could be found. That's true. Dream, not... <laughs> Dream could be found in the fucking Saudi Arabian embassy. That's crazy. And no one That's would talk crazy. about it. No one would talk like about it. Sawed up or something? And no, just, just in like, general. Just sawed just like, or, or like uh, in a cage okay. or something. Is... <laughs> Dream imprisoned by Saudi government. Oh no one cares. I thought he was they like sawed up like that shou- that reporter, that Shaugi dude. Oh wow, yeah. And he was yeah, just yeah. like reporting like, oh they did some bad shit and then they just sawed him up. You know what's That's crazy? Insane. Like, you know what's crazy? I'm I I mean <laughs> That's this might, insane. It was was that the journalist? Yes. So it was well, you know so you know what's crazy. amazing about that? The person who owns uh Metal Slug is the is the person who did that. <laughs> I'm not even fucking kidding. It's true. I'm it's not even true. remotely it's joking. Fu- that, the true. fact that the fact that that it's, actually it's happened true. that's a is real insane. Fact. I'm going like, to be real. That that's real. Like, look, look, I'm going to say I'm going to just want to say this to the audience. I make up a lot of shit on this show. All right. I lie constantly on this show. Like you're like it's it's fun for me. I have a fun time doing it. But I'm going to tell it's you this. This is a this is something that is hilarious to lie about. I would absolutely make this up, but it's fucking real. It's abs- it is real and you could look it up. It's awesome. It's an awesome time. Anyway, uh that's that's your advice. It's real. <laughs> that's your advice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's your advice for moving, my guy. Uh what do we got? We got an hour. Yeah, we got 30 more minutes. Let's go. The fact that the fact that that's real, like the fact that that's not a lie. The fact that that's not a joke. The fact that they actually, for real, oh. for real, they actually vivisected a journalist. <laughs> they turned um, him um, into not or to, to meat. They, dude, it's, to cr- dust. it's crazy that like yeah, they they have so much money they can do it, and then like fucking buy metal slug. Everyone was just like bite it. Anyone they're like ah, tr- Trump right on it. It's kind of fucked up. And then that's all that happened. They're like, oh, it's that's kind of oh well. Up. Still gonna <laughs> that, that, that that's happen, not cool. Dude. Well, I'm still gonna play <laughs> Metal Slug Tactics coming to all consoles and PC yeah. September 30th. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know uh, if that's real. I used to think. I don't know about you guys, but I, I was I was you know not the smartest kid, but I used to think those POWs in the game were were homeless men. <laughs> Like you were just rescuing bums, oh my God. you know when you would see them like tied oh up because they just look God. like bums. They do look like bums, but like I know what you mean. And then mean. I was like, oh wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> you thought they were just homeless people just sitting in a <laughs> yeah, battlefield. Dude, I swear to God, <laughs> I can't it believe did, you, Derek. I can't believe bro, you just said that. <laughs> I just it didn't. I didn't cross my dude, mind is, that I'm playing an army game. Clearly, they should be POWs. It is amazing the things that you. Why am I saving this homeless person? <laughs> It's stupid. <laughs> it is dumb. kind of amazing the, the things the things that you don't think about, you know, because you just like yeah, yeah. because you understand the game well enough. You're having fun, and so you're just like kind of going through it. And you're like, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to think too much about this because whatever. It's like it, it, also those homeless people uh, in this game that I'm playing don't really have that much of a you know they show up every now and again. But like like when somebody brings up Metal Slug and the things they love about it, I don't think. You know, the POW slash homeless people are, like, even remotely on that list. It's, like, it's just, like, a flavor to the game. (laughs) I was bringing this up yesterday to fucking, uh, something like this happened to me recently where I was, like, I was playing Destiny and, like, Whiskey was, like, my friend Whiskey, he also plays with us. And he was, like, I just noticed, because I was going through my, my inventory and he was, like, looking at me go through and I was, like, holy shit, I just noticed all your primary weapons face up and to the left. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, in the inventory. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And yeah, and everything that's not a primary is up and to the right. And I was like, what? And I looked at it, and I was like, that's fucking real. I can't believe I never even not, bothered to know that. How did you not notice that? I must that's have. So I mean, I, me. it's because you don't need to. Because, you know, you pick up a weapon, and it ends up in your inventory, and it's in your primary slot, and it's like, all right. And they're never on screen at the for, same for time. Me, for me, so it was like, just like, oh, pattern, pattern. I see pattern here. But it's not <laughs> a full it. pattern, because it's like it would be a weird pattern to have, because you have primary that leans up and left and secondary that leads up and right but then heavy also leans up and right so it's not exactly a pattern it's just kind of like this weird thing to differentiate primary from it the other for, ones for me for me it was but like it's every weird special it's just like a little but it's, goes but it's one like, way and other ones don't i've just never i never thought about it because i just didn't need to 
because I was still, you know, I, I play the game well and I understand enough of it well enough that I'm like, I'm not thinking about how they're like diverting it on like a PNG basis. And I noticed it and I was like, fuck, that's so annoying that I didn't notice that before, that I didn't register it before. But Damn, just bro, like little really things awesome. about video games that I, dude, I still to this day, I'll boot up the campaign of Halo 3 and I'll find new shit in it. And it's, like, it blows my fucking mind. I played that game endlessly. I probably played like a thousand hours of that game and there's always something I was like, how the fuck did I not notice that for the last 10 fucking 15, nearly like probably 20 years at this point? Stupid. But anyway. Let's move on. Libertarian Waluigi wrote in. <laughs> Stupid. He said, hello, <laughs> sluts. What does I, he want? I apologize if this question has been asked before, as it does seem vaguely familiar. But which Sonic the Hedgehog characters can say the N-word? Knuckles obviously can't, but there are any others. Um, That's yeah, the only Knuckles, one. Knuckles can obviously say it. I think Rouge the Bat... I think Rouge the Bat can, purely because she's... Yeah. She, I think she... <laughs> How should I put this? Okay. Rouge the Bat can say the N-word the same way Lily can, if that right, makes sense. Right, 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 exactly. Okay, I agree, I agree, I agree. I agree. That's exactly what I was That's thinking. That's it. Shadow can absolutely not say the N-word. But he's but the only black Eggman. one, objectively. Yeah, but he can't say it. That Eggman says it. Eggman yeah, says exactly. it. Exactly, exactly. Sonic says it. <laughs> Shadow can't say it. I feel like Knuckles Shadow can say. I feel it. like absolutely Shadow says it though. Yeah, he says it. He definitely says it. Shadow says it. He sa says it when he's drive, you know, alone running real fast. But the thing he about, says the it thing alone <laughs> while he's playing COD. No, because <laughs> Sonic says because <laughs> he whispers it to himself while he's running at supersonic speeds every couple <laughs> seconds, like every like every like maybe five seconds past you. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets so, a little faster. He gets a little bit yeah. quicker. That's Just so looking fucking around, making stupid. sure nobody sees him. That he is runs so and says it, and Sonic booms real loud. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I gotta blow my nose real like, quick. I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, when does everybody say it though? When? So I feel like Sonic says it while he's playing shooting games. He's pl he's playing shooting, and what he what what he's mad like when he gets like fucking. He's like, and, and he he's, says it. And he's like, I didn't mean you, that. You <laughs> he's like, I didn't mean that. Eggman says it because think he, he says thinks it. he thinks people are that word. Like he's <laughs> like he defines people by that word. It's like, oh, this is a that. That's what I call it. <laughs> Look, I've I've taken a little bit of a dip into. Uh, some of the depths of the internet that are uh, these racist white people, the the, the Nicholas Fuentes uh, type fans, like those people, and a lot of them use the N word regularly, like as if they are a nigga. Like it's 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 so I don't understand it. I don't know what that is, but I feel like that's how Eggman is. Eggman, it just has it in his vocabulary. Like, he, he fucking uh, interchanges between soft A and hard R all the time. But he doesn't understand. He, he doesn't understand. He's like a Puerto Rican in, um, on the East Coast. You know what I mean? He's mm. like, he doesn't. He's like one of my like, cousins. He doesn't get yeah, it. He doesn't get it. He exactly. Say that. <laughs> he's just like, he bro, it's it. just a word. Like, that, that's Eggman. He's like, it's just, it, it's just the word. My the cousin, God. my cousins are the, bro, they're bad news with that. I'm like, guys, you probably shouldn't say that. So, and they just don't get it. So I have some friends in my apartment right now. Whiskey is, is here with Ren. And they brought up a good point. I brought this up to them while I was blowing my nose. Shadow does have a gun. So if he's going to say it, I don't think anybody's going to stop him. Um, I think Knuckles would still point. probably put his hands on him. But no, no, but, then, like, but, no, no but then Shadow's, Shadow will turn around to Knuckles and say, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you black? And then Knuckles will be fucked. Because like. He, no, he, no. He'll be like, yeah. I am, nigga. <laughs> you attack him. <laughs> you attack him. He's he's just. Does I don't Knuckles know, man. have dicks on his fist or what, no? What, he what doesn't have fingers. Things? It's like what times. Knuckles has fingers. What are you talking about? Like penises? No, is, that his, is that his dicks? Are you saying Knuckles, Knuckles doesn't, doesn't have, have fingers? fingers? He just has knuckles. No. You freak. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that Knuckles just has knuckles is wild. Knuckles. Knuckles. Knuckles like doesn't have it. fingers. Knuckles absolutely has fingers. He must. Chris. He does no, not have fingers. You think just off, because Jesus. his name is Knuckles, he doesn't have fingers? No, I know because I'm a fan of Sonic, 
And the only time he has knuckle, only time he has hands is a sonic boom. He might, no, and not, does he have even? He doesn't have fingers naturally. He just has the knuckles and like a little mitten. I swear to God. But that is a glove, is it not? Um, <laughs> I thought it was his hand. I always, I mean, <laughs> I'm being I mean, honest. I mean, they're drawn like gloves. I don't think those. I mean, look at Sonic's hands. Those aren't his hands, are they? Sonic, I've never seen Sonic's bare hands. Like if you rip that shit off, that's Those like are clearly bone be a little nub on the knuckle, <laughs> <laughs> a little flesh-colored knuckle and a little little nubs on it. Yeah, the, I mean, oh, the hands of Sonic Boom. Let me look up knuckles of Sonic Boom. They do have. He does have because there's that famous meme of him stamping. Um, but like, yeah, yeah he does, he has fingers in Sonic Boom, but like those like those are, are those clearly gloves. Little penises. On I don't think those are gloves, right. man. I think you that's his think hand. Those are gloves. I, mean, I those think are that's his hand, bro. <laughs> Why are these hands? Why I just don't think he like has that? fingers. He has a hand and a thumb. <laughs> I mean, he has a fucking Kingston. Those are a, clearly gloves. A are they? I don't think glove. those are gloves, Chris. I think that's just it with spikes on them. That doesn't those make are, sense are... with his knuckles. No, I don't accept that. That's a glove. You don't have to accept Even it. Even in the movie, it's a glove. <laughs> it's got fabric. It's literally sewn in the movie. Does he take it off ever? No. Have you seen his fingers? No, but this isn't a fucking... Uh, so uh, it's safe Schrodinger, to assume... This isn't Schrodinger's so safe, No, 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 no. It, it, it is, though. He's never taken it off, and we've never seen his fingers. Therefore, it's very likely to believe that that's just his hand. He literally has fingers in Sonic Boom, though. Wouldn't it be less Only likely Sonic that's Boom. his hand? Because but that's fucking... It, that's since something. They also, have, why is it one mass? Fingers? Why is it one mass? Why because it's a fucking fingers? glove. He's, he's a boxing glove, my guy. It's literally it's a, a box, boxing it glove. It is a kickboxing glove. Nah, man, that man don't got fingers. With spikes on it, it's a stinger. A stinger. They used to put the barb. <laughs> they used to put the barb wire on the boxing glove. And fuck people up. That was back then when they would have like Clydesdale box, like fucking, you know, uh, five eight, uh, one hundred fifty pound men and shit. And then they would he would give them. Barbed wire to stand a chance against the horse. Fact check from Ren. They are days. gloves. He looked it up. I don't know where he found that information, but like, I, I mean, I, I see, cl I see plenty of fucking. They're clearly gloves. I mean, why? I've <laughs> never seen his fingers once, and I've played a lot of Sonic games. D yeah, Just because you don't see people's fingers in boxing gloves. Well, I don't, I don't understand. Like, but, every, but at every, but at every moment, like, there's moments where he's relaxing, where he's nowhere near needing to have his knuckles on, but he just has them on. Yeah, but same with Sonic and Tails and all of them. They have their stupid fucking finger gloves on all the time, too. Yeah, but Knuckles, nev Knuckles never has to open a door. He never has to put a password in something. Okay, he never has to use his digits. He's got Kingston. points on... So Kingston, he can do it. Is Master Chief a person under the armor since he never takes it off? He does no. take it off in Halo 4. That's not... But I'm talking about even in the original trilogy. But let's say in the original trilogy... And the Trilogy stated, it's No, wait, states, actually, hold on. Because Halo 4 is actually the only time where that happens, and that's that's just as many times as, like, Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom is the only time where he has fingers. Well, Sonic, so, like, well, Sonic the Boom, the Sonic from Sonic Boom is not the same Knuckles from everything else. Well, no, Sonic from Sonic Boom would not be the same Knuckles from everything else, because Sonic... No, Sonic Knuckles, Knuckles, from, Knuckles from, from Sonic is Boom is not the same Knuckles as that other ones. He's a different continuity I'm Knuckles. Not, I'm not... Look. I want to go play Roblox and, and fucking... Build trains and shit now. Knuckles has fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? The opposite of the autism is bleeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like blinded you, like one of Zeus's bolts of lightning. All right, let's uh, let's move on. Uh, M. Marte oh, man, wrote in. I can't in. deal with change. I can't deal with change anymore. M. Marte wrote in. He goes, "Hi, highly heterosexual Hispanics uh, and Derek. <laughs> my question for you guys Interesting. today. <laughs> my question for you guys today." Is uh, if you had a high budget to make a movie or game, what type of movie or game would you make? I uh, hope you guys are having a good one. I, man, all right, let me think about this. I want to make Tetris, the movie that's happening. No, no, the real one. This is a, the, like Tetris. The, the the Tetris movie that Apple is putting out is like one about how Tetris became real. Which is, I mean, I'm sure there's like an interesting story there. The Soviet Union fucking owns it. I'm sure there's like a bunch of shit there. But I want to make a movie about about Tetris, about those characters, about the line, 
about the square, about the Z, about the L. Oh. And I want to I want to do it in the style of Sin City. <laughs> I want to have it you're black and white. Raging. I want to have it you're be really ra- gritty. And I want the message to like be uh, something along the lines of uh um I don't know. I'll work on that later. But uh it'll be it'll be an action movie. Uh, the square is absolutely a rapist. Um, the L like is a loser. Uh, the the Z is mentally... He's like, he's like a good-hearted person, but he's like mentally like not well. Um, he's like kind of like... Um, oh, man. What do you call it? Kanye. And uh, the line <laughs> okay. piece is right. like the police. Almost. Almost like the, the, the kind of the, the thwarter. And that's that's what I want. That's what I want. I want my Tetris movie. And I, I, I'm going for, I think, maybe like an Avatar-style budget. Um, it's going to be really huge. It's very reasonable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I think. Sin City I, Avatar. Well, Tetris yeah, is like... crazier. Sin City, Sin City Avatar Tetris. I like Sin it. City Avatar Tetris. Let's do it. <laughs> who should play Who should play the, the Who should play the shapes? Remember, the square is a Ooh, rapist. I think uh, Kevin Spacey's uh, the square. <laughs> Kevin Spacey's the square. Okay. Uh, yeah. The L is uh, Michael Sarah is the L. Is a fucking dweeb loser. Uh, <laughs> fucking L. Z, who's this? Z is like a like not well person, but they like they mean well. Um, so I figure like, mm. man, who's who's somebody that would not fit that well, bill? but they mean well. Like they're not mentally okay, but they mean well. Oh, um, um, uh, 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 Transformers, uh... Oh, Shia LaBeouf. Holes, uh, uh, Shia LaBeouf, yeah. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. And, uh, the... <laughs> I, I think that the line could be, like, any, any like, Edward Norton type, or, or like, so, like something like that, like, like no, a leading... No, ev- like, no, a no, vaguely leading be, man. Every, everyone should be casted as Dave Batista. He should be every single one of them. It could be a okay. solo fucking film <laughs> where everyone is just Dave Batista. Okay. All right, Dave Batista. All right, fuck everything else, I guess. Yeah, fuck, yeah. fuck our ideas. Uh, they weren't good enough for yeah. the Houston. Uh, so uh, Dave he's, Batista as everyone. The king. He's the king. Dave Batista as everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd just make a movie about, I don't know, like, I'd make a movie about, like, uh... Kingston is so bad at Yes And know. that he waits for the for the entire thing to be over, <laughs> and then he devalues everybody's choices. Like, he just... He yeah, just, that's what I did. I'm, he I'm better. The, I'm better. He just I'm changes better. the script. I'm better. I'm better. Your, your story was Dave, cool. Dave, I, I listened they to should it. Have da- they, should have <laughs> <Batista>. <laughs> they should have Dave Batista. Is Dave Batista even an actor? Undisputed. Yeah, technically. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, he's actor. yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't do anything else. I guess at this point, yeah. Uh, I love that he's scene old of him. Now. It's crazy. No, you had something to say. Clearly, what? it was important. I was like, it's real. It's weird seeing him be, you know, <laughs> older now. Because I'm watching him wrestle for like 20 years, and it's weird. I've been watching him for 20 years, and it's weird seeing him be old. You know what's actually crazy? All of these people, like The Rock and John Cena and Dave Batista. I knew them first from acting. Like I found out that they were fighters. That's crazy. like later. I feel like the the I believe the other two, the Rock one seems a little like wow, he's been around for a fucking while. Yeah. I just feel like just by proxy you would just see his merchandise or anything like all over. Nah. Like he mm. was the face of WWF, man. Like he was like the face of it for like I, that was such an alien. That was, that was you such... were too old for like John Cena and shit when he was wrestling. Yeah. I don't really? believe that you would. No, I, really I believe like old. to not run into John Cena stuff. Like I, I would like. It, it's just we, even when you were young, like The Rock was fucking popping. So no, nope. it what? just literally just probably didn't compute to you seeing that shit. Like you probably as, just saw some smelly Samoan guy on a fucking as shirt. Kid, like, who as is that guy? Kids, <laughs> as kids, when our era of the superstar was the end of The Rock, um, end of The Rock, Brock Lesnar, and John Cena and Randy Orton. That's when we were kids. Mm. You, I don't know any of those. I don't yours, know any of those was the, yours was The Rock. Yours was absolutely The Rock because you're like 34, right? 35 as of today, actually. Your today's your birthday? Pretty. No, it's not. It is, but I don't. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not gonna. We're not gonna wish happy birthday. Absolutely not. Oh, uh, absolutely not. Nigga died. This is not, this, this but, not uh, that type yeah. of birthday. <laughs> no, no, no. But the, here's here's the real here's the real, and this is absolutely real. 
the first time that I remember seeing The Rock was in the was fucking Dream Mummy. Was in Was in The Mummy. Oh. The Mummy Returns. He was still wrestling at that time. Yeah, yeah, but that was yeah. the, fr- the I knew him as the Mummy guy. Like he, oh, that's mm. that. Oh, he's he's the Scorpion King, Matthias or whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck his name was. Yeah, it was Scorpion King. And so I knew him from that. And I was like, oh, that's a weird actor or whatever. And then he was in like a bunch. And then I, re- I, I never paid attention to wrestling at all. And then I remember he was in that Doom mm. movie, and I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Why is he in these like weird movies? And like, <laughs> I just nobody I knew, none of my friends, nobody. Were, was interested in, in, in wrestling. Like, my parents, my family. None of your nobody friends in my, wrestling? Nobody in my family, nobody in my friend That's group. Crazy. Like, they didn't give a shit about wrestling at all. Or, like, any type of, like, mm, sports, really. Like, like it was just wrestling a completely... Wrestling was, like, my childhood, man. Like... My friends were like, all my in, friends were all mu- my ooh. friends were all music and and like movies and video games like they were that, that's the shit that they paid attention to like they didn't really like they, we knew who Derek Jeter was purely by osmosis living in New York but that's like about it like that's like I, I never really <laughs> yeah. like paid that much attention and so like by the time like Doom came out and like I, I'd seen the Scorpion King and I'm like oh that's the Dwayne the Rock that's the Rock I don't know why he's, I just assumed the Rock was like a stage name. And it was, I guess, but like I mean, yeah. like for a yeah, different yeah, thing. Technically. And, then yeah, I th- yeah. and then I think I saw him on like an episode, like I think in it Get Smart or something, where like Dude, with with smart, with, yeah. uh, with uh, and then I remember a friend of mine was like, "Oh, it's a wrestler," and I was like, "What?" And I looked it up, and it's like, "Oh, he's a wrestler." And John Cena was a similar thing. Like I didn't see John Cena until like John Cena I knew because of the meme. Like and and his name is John Cena, bam, 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 oh, da, yeah, and th- that that was my first introduction to John Cena. Was that fucking that's meme. crazy? And so I knew him as I a remember, meme. I remember his first. I that's, remember that's his crazy first. That, 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 yeah, I remember his first ever fight. I remember watching that on fucking, uh, or at least his first WWF fight. I remember that fight. He fought uh, what you call a Sheamus. You gotta call it a match, man. This is, they, they ain't fighting. Sorry, the match. Man. My apologies. <laughs> they, ain't, they ain't fight. My these, first, these first ever fight. one. I remember watching it. I remember watching. It. I was like, "This is ins- This guy has really long shorts on." And then he made a rap album. I remember that he made a rap album that I bought because oh. I was stupid and young. Yeah. See, I did. And my uncles the, the, were like, "Fuck <laughs> you, you dumbass kid. You don't get it." <laughs> that was after my time. But the thing is interesting because I didn't pay attention to that shit. I didn't give a fuck about John Cena. That was a little bit after uh, the ruthless aggression era of WWF, or I guess it was WWE at that point. Um, I just I checked out because I didn't give a fuck anymore. It was getting too uh, PG for me. Cause they, they were cleaning it up. They wanted to uh, make it go public and shit. And so they were like, "We need to, we need to clean it up." And yeah, the era just I before was that the, was bad. I was the guy that loved the fucking you know the wrestling pimps, the Godfather. That that's my dog. Fucking you know like the the porn star Val Venus, like the dumb bullshit that was in it. Bro, and I saw the writing on the wall. Going in Booker T's wife's fucking room and then smiling like, and closing the door. Oh yeah, that whole like that like, a dude, a dude literally going to rape somebody's wife. So, I was like, <laughs> I was so like, do you, uh, do you guys, uh, that's so funny. So do you guys huh? do you guys know that The Rock has a TV show called Young Rock? Yeah, Young Rock. Yeah, we're on. Yeah, yeah, I watched the first season of it. What the fuck? Is I have this? not watched it because I, I, I know his life. Like I've, I've watched documentaries on the guy. He has a three, he has like, three seasons give... of worth of oh, a show. Oh, three seasons. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna catch up in the second season. <laughs> this I is mean, like, crazy I, I, to I, me. I, like this, this, this man exists on like a different planet from me. I swear to you. Like, because I, 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 I pay it's... absolutely fucking no attention to this person. Look, Chris, at all. I have a similar experience with Taylor Swift. I just uh, maybe two, three weeks ago, I was with uh, JoJo, and I would say I don't know one song other than I know the chorus of Shake It Off, and I couldn't tell you if someone put a gun to my head and said, sing Taylor Swift lyrics other than Shake It Off, I'd, I'd be dead because she's one of the biggest stars on the fucking planet. And I literally have never come across. I was just thinking about this. I'm like, I've had to have heard something in a grocery store or passing by, and I had nothing until I actually started uh, going through her catalog. And I think I noticed one other, and then something that just dropped recently. Yeah, it sounds like some shit that like it sounds like almost like some '80s vibes or something. Where I was just like, I don't, I don't know how I missed her. 
completely, even though she's like probably the most like clearly one of the most famous yeah, artists on I, the fucking planet. I, I, I couldn't I couldn't escape Taylor Swift because we we she was we, unavoidable. We, yeah, we, yeah. When That's we what I'm saying. like when I don't we, know any of her shit. Right, but when we were in high school, she was popping off pretty much. Like that that was like uh-huh. that that era. Unavoidable. Where it's like, but like I'm pretty like I'm up to date. Like I know I know Katy Perry songs. I know uh, uh, Rihanna songs. Like I like say I'm. I guess so. What would Beyonce is uh, in a similar level that all of her new shit beyond like the uh, put a ring on it and Halo and all that shit. I don't really know what the fuck else she's been coming out with recently because their albums are always like cl- album of the year, best, and you're always nominated. And I'm like, I don't know any of these fucking songs. And I'm just like, does my br- is it just not? Is it? I don't get it. I don't know if it's just like kind of like you to the rock. Where your brain just absolutely did not process what you were seeing, like yeah. you saw. I'm sure you saw rock shit all over the fucking yeah, place. Yeah, probably. But it was like you know, but your brain just <laughs> didn't give a fuck. Like yeah. this is so useless, it just dumps it immediately. Yeah, I, I didn't recognize it. I didn't recognize <laughs> it. So I, didn't, so I didn't file it away. It's almost like uh, fucking running into a missing no in in like one of those Pokemon games. It's just like yeah, I guess yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. I don't know what that is. It's something clearly, but I don't need this shit. Oh shit! Um, before we move on. I want to put this out into the ether sure. because it's actually with the uh, the question, like how to money money make a movie or game or whatever. There's a game that I've been actually wanting to hit up some type of developers. Maybe I was thinking of like some type of RPG, like sprites, yeah. little old pixel school art. type uh, Pokemon shit. Yeah, pixel art, and it was it's called Gangsta Quest, and it's essentially. Uh, it was supposed to be Skyrim and and San Andreas mixed together, essentially. It was oh just that'd be lit as shit. That'd it be was, lit as it, shit. Me and uh, my friend pretty much wrote out the whole like we wrote out everything. We had all the characters. We I forgot most of it, but there's like I have 40 minutes saved of like brainstorming. That long story short, it's just um um uh, a di- dishonorably discharged military guy, you know, from the hood. Um, he, it's, it's circling, he's basically the CJ, and there's a battle going on in the mid, in, in the medieval times, and this shitty wizard, you know, he's like, fuck, <laughs> I need, I need a, the, I need to, um, summon, like, the bravest warrior, right? Like, I need to, to, to defeat fucking the, the, the mad king and all this shit. There's a mad king, and I need us to, def- and he's so shitty that he summons this fucking derelict, you know, this, this, this shitty, like, below average soldier, you're capable enough that he knows what he's doing, but he's not the bravest and best. So he summons him, fucks everything up, summons a bunch of people from the future. So and then like all of a sudden, like all these thugs start taking over garrisons and shit. Like there's the, the Latino <laughs> gangs and all this stuff. And then basically so you ridiculous. find like blacksmiths to make guns and shit. And you have like drive by summonings and shit like that. It was like a whole premise. And I was like, I, I know this would be a fucking banger. That's a good sounds I good. Just, I just want to put that out there. If somebody wants to run with that shit, you can fucking run with it. I don't give a fuck. I just want it made. <laughs> That's crazy. You know what would make it better though? That no one was no one will be brave enough to make that though. You don't think so? No, I I, I think it, it's too good. Uh, yeah, they would fuck it up in I some way. I want that so badly. Yeah, that actually that would be the problem like I had a, <laughs> I had a um some guy he he borrowed uh, a song. I showed him a song of mine. This was years ago, and his um his actually his brother just died in 2021. But when the last time I saw him, he was like, "Hey, uh, go check out this uh this song called a Carnivorous Bastard by uh whatever the fuck their name was." And I was listening to it. And I started laughing. I was like, "That's my fucking song." And I was laughing. This guy like took a song that I showed him on the guitar, and then he took it into another band. And the only thing I was mad about is that he butchered it. Like, it wasn't even that like he stole oh, the shit because yeah. I, I wasn't using it. But I was just like, fuck, man. I would love to hear it. So actually at some point, I'm going to a- make the actual song and be like, this is what it should have sounded like. And uh, it'll sound way better than anything I could have done before. So I'm actually kind of as of where I'm at right now. But the same concept. Yeah. I don't need any credit or anything. I personally don't give a fuck about that. But... I just have this idea, and <clears throat> if somebody executed that game the right way, I think it would be a fucking smash hit because it would be so fun. Like, imagine everybody loves Skyrim and fucking San Andreas. How the fuck would that fail? You know what I mean? That'd be funny as shit, dude. There's like summon, there's like gang violence, there's like hookers, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, like, there's a lot well, of the n-word there's a lot there's a well, lot there, of the n-word i don't know if the, the n-word <laughs> the existed sh- back in medieval time I, I like well they would still say but it, it would though. be f- the idea of al calling yeah, the- someone the n-word is hilarious to me dude <laughs> <laughs> like them picking up the n-word because they're like what twas what is what is this word that you can you imagine like, and that's and that's the you mean, uh, uh, fucking call me that nigga fuck you call me <laughs> and that's the that's the whole thing that's 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 the invention of it that's like the past. Technically, we so invented you, it. Yeah, yeah, you invented, invented it yourself. It. That's crazy. That would be oh, that would be crazy. That's, that's the twist. That's uh, the twist. I love the idea that's of a shitty oxymoron. wizard. I love the idea of just this piece of shit wizard summoning <laughs> just derelicts from the future yeah. by accident. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> fucking... Assholes, bro. Like I love that concept because usually always wizards are always all oh, Gandalf the Gray and all. I'm like, nah, I want this guy. This guy sucks. This guy's got all the books. And he just fucks all the spells up. Yeah, and shit. his name's like his name's like all. His name's like Clervis or something. And he's like, uh, <laughs> he uses just... his magic to just get boners. That's it. Clerk. He uses magic to just get his dick hard. That's all he's ever really done. He just he's never really jacking off. He's just never he's like, really <laughs> used magic for anything good. It's like do this spell. And he's like, honestly, I use my magic to get my get bitches and like get, keep my dick hard. That's it. Like I can't. Like I'm not really that good. He at uses fifty percent like, of his. He uses fifty percent of his magic just to keep his heart pumping because he had a heart failure like a couple of years ago. But and it's it, it, he has to keep it magically. He has to keep almost like telekinesis. I had an idea. I had a yeah, script yeah. that I wrote like a long time ago. I think I might have mentioned this on the podcast. I'm not super sure, but like I know I've t- I know I mentioned it to Kingston once, where like I wrote a script a long time ago where this this guy has telekinetic powers, but he's also dead, and so like he he uses telekinesis to keep his heart pumping and to keep his like to keep all of his organs pumping blood and moving, so he can't die. So he's only like. <laughs> Slight, and he's like just miserable <laughs> because he has this amazing power, but he can't really use it. He won't use it to a certain degree. And he's like, that sounds oh. like some shitty X Men thing. Yeah, it's like a, it's like the worst X Men. Do you think it'd be that hard to keep your heart pumping? I guess because you have to focus on it it's all the, the time. Foca- it's the focus of it. So that means he can't really get a deep sleep. No, he can't. Uh, he's funny. always like kind of na- He's always kind of napping. And he's, he's that's just, insane. Why would I would who would want to live like that? No, exactly. He's a, just go he's to just, a hospital, dude. No, 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 he's just too afraid to die. Let's go to a hospital. He's just, it's not a matter of like you know. He's just like I don't know what lies because he, he's like a shitty guy too. Like he's done a lot, and he's like he grew, and he grew up like vaguely religious, like not religious so much that he believed it enough to not do the shit that he did, but like religious enough to feel bad about it and be a little bit scared about where he's going. So what happened so, like, is he so like was he this. was he made like was he made a but like sort of clear that there is something afterwards and he's a shithead. Because that no, makes it even funnier. No, no, no. He, he's he, just like, Fuck. no. He just, he just, he just accepts that it's possible now that he he has telekinesis. Because if that's uh, possible, because yeah. if that's possible, then why not? What the fuck is it? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the fuck that's is hilarious. it? So like, so the powers also make him scared of the afterlife. I love it. Uh, I, I don't even remember what the story was. I wrote some fucking bullshit story about him, but like, I, I, the character he's made me laugh so terrified. fucking hard. He's just terrified of the next step. He's just so scared. He's like, I don't want to die, man. I don't want to die. He's like, dude, so he's never going to sleep again, ever. I'm never going to sleep ever again, he's ever. Never, he has not had a, a successful REM cycle in years. <laughs> he's, um, he'd be crazy as shit. Yeah, no, yeah, he's that, nuts. He'd he's be nuts. crazy as sin, bro. <laughs> Anyway, let's move yeah, on. He, he's got dementia at like fucking 15 years old. <laughs> he just, he's already <laughs> he's fucked. 15. He's like Spider-Man, but with dementia and also half dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking, he has dementia at 15. That's so young. <laughs> That's oh, so my God. Sad, bro. That's wild. I mean, if you never like got rim sleep, it probably, that probably would happen. He's, the idea. Such, a, he's such a shell. Yeah. <laughs> How young would be like... Because when you're like three, you basically have dementia, you know. No, you don't. I mean, you, <laughs> you don't. You're three, you fucking idiot. That's I mean, so stupid. No, I'm, what, I, what I'm saying is like <laughs> a high functioning, a high functioning three year old is about like. It's like about the territory that somebody with dementia would. No, it's would... not. You're making yeah. such That's silly arbitrary. <laughs> no, like, I'm functioning three year old is about as functional as. But no, it's not. I think it's so. It's a person with dementia. That's it. What's a person with dementia though? Like it's like oh, I forgot a how to go to the bathroom. Level ah. as like a, compared to a child, I don't know. Because a retarded person, oh no, sorry, a mentally disabled person is technically still up. significantly more intelligent than an ape. 
Like a, the same person that will blow an ape out of the water intellect wise. I don't know about that. So it's like man. no, a hundred percent. It depends on how disabled. I like, seen ape do some a, dope shit. Pro, a, disabled, a disabled is a person could probably still use a like a very mentally disabled person could probably still use a phone. An ape get, and never, and ape never gonna get an ape. Ape is absolutely using a phone. Just gotta teach it, man. Just gotta teach it. Never, this conversation. I'm, all right, you're right, guys. That's, yeah, Look, right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mental <laughs> I'm just saying. Mental disability is a spectrum. Ape is a spectrum too. Technically, it is um, ape is a spe- <laughs> yeah, Hello, yeah. ape speaking. Hello, Hello I'm me. ape. <laughs> Hello, it me ape. Um, me ape. What can I do for you? <laughs> How can I direct your call? That's, That's fucking scary. Ape is getting you fucking. Hey, yo, man, that orangutan around the corner. Yeah, one second. Yo, orangutan. This is orangutan, man. Like, I don't know. Orangutan. <laughs> something about it with that weird, this those weird just... cheeks. I don't know. What anyway. have you, 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 you installed a, um, a security cam surveillance camera, and you know all the apes are all being all crazy and shit. Then they think everyone's gone, and like, they start finally. doing shit. <laughs> finally. finally, that was like that was and they like start the, doing shit. <laughs> you know that reminds me of. Do you remember when we were in Vegas, Derek, and you were making the we we joked about Matt Pat being like some secret Russian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think about that sometimes where he goes like, and that's just a theory, a game theory. And then the camera goes off and he's like, take this to edit bay. We need the, <laughs> we need thumbnail with my face going, ooh, and ah, for maximum so engagement. F- I love the idea of just like. Some fucking KGB fucking he's agent KGB. or something. <laughs> he, he's, he's making all these theories as like a disinformation campaign to, to <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be so oh it's so good. dumb anyway let's go on with it's another one the nightman wrote and he says hiya boyos got another hypothetical for you imagine you're in the hospital because of kidney failure and you need new kidneys for whatever reason your family and friends can't give you one of theirs but your co-hosts say don't worry about it and the next day you wake up you have two kidneys but you meet a man in the hospital that has two broken legs and is missing his kidneys you know for a fact that your co-host did this what do you do <laughs> He's missing his kid. We stole for so we offered we offered kidney donations and we just we took it from somebody else in the hospital. Oh my god! I would that's absolutely so like, terrible. I, yeah, that's I so mean, terrible. What do you do though? Yeah, that's pretty rough. That's fucking circle of life, man. Shit happens. You know, you're gonna die to help this person live. So circle just get, of life. get with dying. Yeah, we just <laughs> get with it dying, bro. Get yeah. busy dying, man. Suck it up. <laughs> Remember, if you cry, you lose. So, uh, if you figure you know. you're gonna die, you cry, you're a bitch and a loser, and I'm gonna get you. So, you better not you fucking could, cry, uh, so I'm gonna smell you. You could probably function without your kidneys, right? No. No. Uh, one? One, not both <laughs> I mean, I mean, of them. <laughs> no, actually, actually. No, you, you no, have recently, to. no, no, actually, recently there was a, a study from a World <laughs> News Report dot, uh, Jim, and dot they Jim. basically said, yeah, they, they, they basically said, yeah. It just said yes. They said yeah. You have, but you have to drink more alcohol. You have to drink more alcohol and drink more, eat more fatty foods. In fact, <laughs> and you'll survive much longer. So yeah, it, lose it, your kidneys it, it and do of, that. It offsets. It like mm-hmm. you go so far off the deep end that it just comes right back around. Yeah, fresh. you become you become the best version of yourself. You start I, losing no. weight, gaining muscle mass. It's all <laughs> it's all like that. Exactly like that. Do what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> exactly what I'm saying. I look very red today. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I was wondering, like, you, like you've been talking to a lot of racist people. No, I don't you've know. You've been spending some time in the coming, like, kind of redneckish. I don't know what the hell's going on with you. I don't know. Maybe I got a rash. I'm yeah. I'm always kind of red, so I've, I've gotten used to it. World you blushing? Up. You blushing, man? Someone fucking blowing kisses at you or some shit off screen? What's Maybe queer. How would you feel if <laughs> you were like, I I need a, <laughs> How would you feel if I need a kidney? You were like, I need a kidney or whatever. And then they started putting you under, and then as you were coming under. Uh, you look to your left and you see a child being wheeled in, and they they you, and like you're you're blinking and it's slowly kind of going like this. It's it's like it's like uh, back in back in, and you see over the course of time before you pass out them cutting one of this kid's kneecaps out, taking it out and approaching you with it, and then you wake up and then you're fine. Be like fuck, and I just wake up. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, yeah. And I, would just... I mean. <laughs> I don't. I yeah. I don't would, say. Would you get an X ray? Would, would you get an X ray? It's like they, they gave me they sm- they gave me a kid's knee, and then you just have to like <laughs> deal with that. You have to deal with like the fact that like you're functioning totally fine, but you don't know for a fact 
that they one did, is like, gonna pop, one is gonna. You don't know if out. it was uh, like a hallucination or not. I accept it because the thing is, I accept it too. As soon as you find out the truth, then that's when your body starts rejecting it. Yeah, it's like that fucking kid yeah, Julio. That time. It's like that kid Julio in first grade who was like, uh, you, you, "You forgot your glasses," and then I couldn't see. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, that's exactly that what happened. That kid hexed you, bro. He that did kid he- hexed you. That kid's yeah, a fucking brujaria, man. That kid's a fucking pagan weirdo or something. Like I don't know what the fuck he did, but brujaria. He did Demonio, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, Julio. I'm glad I stole your fucking GameCube games. Um, yeah, that Barbara I'm glad Weston. I'm a thief. I'm glad I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I'm a fucking thief and I stole from you. Yeah, I, it was only like Donkey Konga. I don't know why I stole that. Still that. Is. <laughs> it still is. Yeah, well, you fucking stole whatever. Us stole him. Oh, big deal. I stole your Donkey Konga. You stole my fucking vision. So how about you fucking call it even? Um, Barbara Weston Chandler. Bitch, Barbara Weston Chandler's Not So Instant Karma wrote in. This is the last one, I think. Uh, hey, my yeah. alien friends. Here's something that could spark an interesting convo. The universe is old, really old. Mm-hmm. Imagine mm-hmm. a race of intelligent beings that have existed for millions, if not billions, of years. Uh, of date without self extinction. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, considering the speed of our technology has progressed in a couple centuries, could we even conceive of the advances others have made in a million years head start? If they crack the fundamental laws of our universe, would it be distinguishable from magic? Uh, no. And would they be able to? No, absolutely not. We'd be, we we no, would be absolutely not. unable to fucking conceptualize any of that shit. Um, that shit, they might, that might even happen and they just exist in different planes from us now. Did you see those might be fucking... like fucking six dimensional or just like, uh, they might be next to us, literally. Did you guys see that? just don't that, know. You guys saw that fucking thing about like the oldest galaxies or whatever? They found like two old like galaxies that are way, way, way further along than they should be, despite the fact that they're like way older than they should be or whatever the fuck. Like, uh, I heard some yeah, shit about yeah. that. And I was like, this it's just is one of those things that it's an, it's an, it must be annoying because it kind of just changes the game. It's just like, fuck. Yeah. Now what? Now what do we do? <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck. That, oh, you were so wrong. How, you got to go back and sh- erase so much but shit. <laughs> that keeps happening because, like, w- do you guys know the average uh, human, like, how, like, that when humans became, like, homo sapiens? Yeah. Do you well, know yeah, that are, number? Are, aren't we, like, aren't we, like, yeah, like 98. 200,000 years old? So that's, on average, 200,000, yeah. 240,000. Mm-hmm. That's the average. However... Motherfuckers multiple times have found human, not fucking th- actual Homo sapien footprints that are way older than that. Fucking way older. But then the thing is, just because it's a headache, a lot of people don't want to fucking deal with it. They're like, this is gonna fuck everything. Is up. it Homo then sapien you gotta... or is it just Homo erectus? No, see, this is Homo sapien. This is what I'm talking Damn, about. Damn, and that's fuck. They say humans are like two hundred thousand years old on average that they say, mm-hmm. but they found human Homo sapien uh, activity. That is much older than that, and then it's one of those things about like, well, fuck, what do we do now? Yeah, the fuck do we now? We gotta, we're gonna change all the books. You're gonna do all like it. It becomes kind of like political after. Modern that. humans I, I, are I would, way older I would, than I thought. I, it was crazy. I would bet a lot of money on the idea that like humans are a lot older than than we assume. Oh, I they totally are. believe. Like, I, I think a hundred percent. Like, it's like by like a lot. Like, but I, I would bet like a by a metric fuck ton. Like uh, yeah, we're, I, I, we're I totally really believe like some of the stuff that I've heard that yeah. I'm like yeah, it sounds like because this shit happens all the time. We have these theories, and then after That's a while, they're insane, like oh shit, this ain't, this ain't they just ain't they, real. They, they, did you see like even just like uh, I think it, it might have been early. Uh, no, no, it must have been last last year. Like I think like summer or something, like or like April something like that. They found like um, they did this laser radar thing underneath the uh to scan for certain things under the uh, amazon rainforest so they could excavate it without tearing shit down uh mm. and they found like fucking like a straight up ancient city like in the amazon oh, right. which like people said like they're just fucking it just was not supposed to be there and it's like there's even like um what is it uh there's even like documents and like journals from explorers who went back there like in like the 15 like 1400s or whatever and they were like yeah there's a city over here and then when people came later they were like there's no city here it's fucking they lied for no reason what the fuck and now it's like probably under yeah now they under uh, stuff it's it's, it's under all that fucking all those trees and shit which is fucking nuts dude i I I believe absolutely it's so aggravating it's so aggravating because like we just there's so much shit already going on you know it's just like so what? Like, so what, dude? Like, I know the past is important to understand because the more you understand about the past, the more you can jot of a, a course toward the future. 
But like, dude, I don't get, we don't, it doesn't matter how old we are, man. We just, we got so many, like, I know it matters, but like, fuck it, dude. We got to fix like modern problems, dude. Let's Look, deactivate all the nukes. Then so worry what, about that shit. Like, you, the, like oh, you that, are right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My yeah, yeah, curiosity yeah. Uh, tell you is what, not uh, worth it. T- yeah. t- uh, tell you what, uh, you deactivate your nukes and then I'll do it when you do it. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I don't believe you. Good yeah, there you go. That's, that's why it hasn't. That's why. That's uh, there you Counter- go. Well, no, it's it's not gonna happen because of the fact that they're the greatest weapons ever. So fucking Oppenheimer or whatever that motherfucker's name dope. is, that it's motherfucker's like, an asshole. Oppenheimer, it's his fault. greatest weapons. Oppenheimer, it's his fault, bro. Did the greatest you ever, weapons that did we you can't ever use. read any of his journals, bro? No, he I don't. Thought look. he thought he was going to ignite every hydrogen particle in the atmosphere, and this motherfucker still went through with it. That man is insane. That is a, that is a person that we were like, yeah, give him money and resources to figure I mean, this out. It's like, dude, that dude was literally a demon. I mean, he, he did was it. literally like, "It's worth it for science." Well, I and feel weapons. weird about <laughs> motherfuckers creating black holes here. Where I just feel like, you know, red matter in Star Trek, where it's like, yeah, I feel like that's gonna happen at some point where they're like, oopsie, and then literally just the yeah, Earth we're is due, swallowable. we're due I feel for like, like that's just gonna happen. Like, oops, we're due for some like motherfuckers that's gonna just book series I read where they made a black hole. Um, and it slowly but surely, what they did was they tried to contain it by putting it somewhere near the core of the planet. And all it did was just make the planet have really intense orgasms every few years that would kill hundreds of thousands of people. And then we were like, we got to leave the Earth. It's, it's, it's too late. We got to get off this rock. <laughs> we have to leave. Yeah. yeah. Scientists sometimes are like, hmm. Maybe let's not let's not. Well, do the hydron that. collider know. they can shut itself down. That's how. Like if like if something starts going wrong, it shuts down on its own. I mean, ideally, not yeah, even like with human air. Like humans aren't even involved in that anymore. It's like if something breaches it off, off, done. That's yeah, I've it. I've seen like uh, yeah a bunch of fail states, yeah. but sometimes I'm still just like man. Man, I don't know. This, whatever. Right, fail safes are fine as long as they're not operated by people. I'm fine with fail safes <laughs> existing as long as humans don't operate them. Yeah, <laughs> because I we that. can't, we can't be trusted. I'm yeah, sorry, like any a... motherfucker that wants to do that shit, though they may have good intentions. Like the fact that we were able to make, um, we did, it was a nuclear fusion. We 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 did it. We finally made nuclear fusion a real thing. That shit's That's crazy. That's really recently. awesome. That's really nuts. Nuts. Yeah. It's extreme. Like whoever wants to do that, there's one motherfucker there that's an evil nigga that wants to do some bad shit with it. There's one guy that's like, hey, I can't sell to the military and fucking make China go missing. You know, like, it's like what? China. Yeah. All right. China. Shout right, out we'll to do... Nuclear Fusion. That's going to change the world, dude. Like, maybe not in our lifetimes. Maybe, like, much later in our lives. But that's really going to, like, fix a yeah. lot of problems. 50 years from now. Maybe 20. You never know, dude. Nuclear Fusion's going to get rid of trans people once and for all. Whoa. One maybe. day. Well, that's, that's what one you want. Day. Yeah, that sounds cool. I mean, nothing. That's what you want. I know that's what you want. That's what you hired me for. <clears throat> that's, <laughs> that's what But you I love the trans for. people, but they need to go because the, my constituents uh, said they're groomers. And so we will ignite them in the future. We will Burn ignite them. them. <laughs> God Christ. Did, did you see recently he's saying, like, I will be your retribution? Like, these things, like, what do you mean retribution? What are you talking bro, about? Bro, chill, bro, chill, bro. <laughs> you ain't gonna, gonna kill people? Dude, it's, the, the language is getting fucking spicy over there, man. Oh They're just fucking God. saying shit that you would hear in like fucking villains, like movies and shit. <laughs> I'm like, all That's right, insane. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I wanted to read this. I wanted to read this because uh, I thought it was funny, or I thought it was like because we asked, and uh, I felt like it was it would be dumb of us not to, to not to bring it up. But Kelly uh, Kelly Fulton wrote in not on the Patreon but in a comment because last week I said I said specifically. It's amazing that we like. Do we even have female viewers? And so like we have a bunch of comments for female viewers now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so like one of them was like, "Female listener here. I'll be honest. I only listen sporadically, but I've uh, I've also been a fan of Chris and Derek's content since 2017. Despite being a 29 year old married woman, there's a part of my prefrontal cortex that seems to be that of a 14 year old boy. 
and that part of my brain happens to drive with y'all's brand of silliness. So I appreciate you. We, we all appreciate you, Kelly Fulton. Yeah, we got a bunch uh, of comments that were like, we're women. And I'm like, I don't believe all y'all, but like, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I don't believe all y'all. I, I believe that. And, uh, I but don't, yeah, but so, I'm, glad, so, I'm glad. So we appreciate glad you. Said it. We appreciate you all. Uh, whether it w- uh, doesn't matter what you got in between your legs, although like it kind of does. We let's love be real, but all the women um, and their big ass titties. Thank you every, so much. Every for single one of them, even the small titties too. They're all titties, and I love them all. Even if one's a little bit off, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's, that's fine. okay. <laughs> 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 oh my god! All right, let's move on. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. do this like this last question. Uh, All right, where the fuck? Let's bring was it on it? home. Uh, I gotta cut my hair. I'm gonna go bald. What do you mean? Oh, welcome to the club, nigga. Do the baldy. I'm gonna go do the baldy. Welcome to the club. You should do the monk thing, like the one in the mi- in the bald in the middle. <laughs> like Would the you egg like that? yolk in the middle. <laughs> yeah, that'd be sick. Do that because uh, what did they used to do? Like, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Lil John. Lil you know, Lil John. John from Robin Hood. Oh my do god, Rob and Little John running through the floor. Yeah, the, do the Little John where you c- cut the thing, because I guess it's supposed to be a thing. It was like so you can be close, God can access your brain or some no, shit. It's, never mind. I forgot what was the reason why they did no, that. Never mind. You should do that. No, never mind. Never mind. We're uh, and, You're and, all right? ending, ending, ending. No. <laughs> that just made me, that made me so upset. Like, I haven't thought about that character in fucking so long. We, we got to move. Let's go. Ending. Thanks for thanks for watching us. Thanks for supporting us over at Patreon. You can come on uh, over at Patreon.com slash uh, the Snark Tank to uh, support us over there. We got a bunch of tiers. We got some extra episodes going live exclusively there. Uh, so keep an eye out. There's a bunch of cool stuff. So uh, fucking uh, count me down. Count me down. Three, two, one. Uh. I'm Nigerian, but I like to go into shops at night and nick things off the shelves. So call me the nightly Nigerian nicker. Nice. Pissing so and cool. shitting till my... Fuck, I blew it out. Till my dad comes back. She pipkin on my pippa. I use the spons- I used to sponsor a third world child. Now I pay for this podcast. Congrats on actively making a child's life worse. Let's Jordan Peterson's go. decrepit finger pointing. Shit. Domination. Average clit energy. That midget that was on fire in that one video. Parentheses. I died. Lamal. Uh, Star coffee. Please congratulate my friend Devin on their pregnancy. I don't mean metaphorically or rhetorically or poetically or theoretically or any other fancy way. I'm gay straight up. Uh, staying hydrated to be ready to piss on Mar- Margaret Thatcher's grave at a moment's notice. I'd rather my kid be trans than a furry. Hundred percent. Scream team. Trans femme gremlin. It's so funny because like I I really feel that on like I, a, on, not, like a yeah. on like a really, on like a really core level. Like my god, like 100%. please don't. Like just please God, don't let that happen. Like I I, I can take any other outcome but that. Yeah. I would disown it's my too kid. Much. If they yeah. Furry. I, I might actually uh donate it to a petco. <laughs> and just see, you know, Pickles are so sad. Scream Team, Transform Gremlins. Uh, can Logan Paul abandon a million pigs? My sexual awakening was the quirky goth girl from NCIS, and now my taste in movement is ruined. The angelic dungeon master, whose father makes uh, really good political points, but also doesn't like trans people. I'm not sure. Uh, Jeez. <laughs> those are the dangerous ones. Those are the dangerous ones where it's like you bring up a, a point and they have a good rebuttal, and the, but the, they're also like terrible. Ooh, those are, <laughs> those are the worst. Dude. When it's like you, you like you say something like, "Oh, but yeah, but this yeah, oh, kind of makes sense." Oh damn! Oh damn! But also, you're, gay people suck. Ah, uh, you're wrong. Like, uh, you're wrong ooh. in like an educated way. That sucks, <laughs> dude. Andrew, Andrew Tate actually had a Tate like that recently. It was funny as fuck. What oh was really? The, fucking, Wait, what was uh, the trans, the trans woman. Oh, you just see, it was like, oh, would you the Hulk Hogan versus uh, a Megan Fox with the dick? Yeah. Like, would you would you would you rather bang like um, a really ugly one that's a woman? Or like a really hot like trans uh, chick, and then they're like, oh, and he was like, you're being stupid. You're not listening to me because you're thinking, oh, you're going with the woman. But he's like, listen to me. I'm talking about either Hulk Hogan with the pussy or Megan Fox with a dick. And then pretty like well, well reasonably, he's like, I'd go with the Megan Fox with the dick. It's like, you know, you can push the dick aside or something. And, and it was funny that I'm like, he's being transphobic and stupid, but at the same time, he's being yeah. kind of like accepting <laughs> it's, a, it's a really funny it's a really funny dichotomy i hate moments yeah. where people that suck make sense you know and it's like this shouldn't happen you shouldn't make sense you're making also, it worse imagine hulk hogan with the pussy 
That's I so don't want to ever do that. That's, that's, that's a <laughs> rancid. Pussy, brother. That's so rancid, I bet. That I'm was... so wet, brother. Ah! <laughs> 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 Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, that hurt. The angelic that hurt me so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reports from the field indicate that Chris Benoit has wrestled his wife and child to death and then himself. More at 11. Craig the Canadian. It's it. your boy, Shawnee D. Isaac Clark kicking the shit out of Mutant Baby since 2008. Matt Walsh is a hero of our time. Sweet Baby Gang for Life. Indie, buddy, ni- Inder, indie Butter Knife on YouTube.com. Alternate reality porn. Mr. Rogers is the tightest come hungry slut on the bang bus. What's with these homies dissing my girl? Smash announcer voice. Your mum. Uh, 3XO nice. writing into his will uh, an article detailing what to do with his pelt upon an untimely death. The ball skin shall be made into a sheet. Uh, sl- it's just fucking Theo Vaughn talking about ball skin sandals or whatever the fuck. <laughs> God damn it! He's like he's he's talking about like yeah the the skin on the balls is like a really good material. Like I wish they could I wish they could make something out of that with like ethically. Uh, I don't know. It's fucking insane. Slapping, eating, stroking, gulping. <laughs> Emoticons going like this. Stormboy's life and what he like. Call her little Caesars the way your pussy hot and ready. Drip MH, Lord of Drip. Nancy Pelosi killing a Palestinian with a massive tits. Obi Wan should blow me. Losing women. Loving women is gay. The fuck you kissing on cock circles for. Kingston Shackle Bolt. Uh, the Messiah of Misogyny. <laughs> Cuck Norris. Alsta Wall. Okay, you said it right. Avi. Uh, something funny and topical. Iron Prond. Wasteway 583. I feel gay. Fuck you. The Papini Brothers. Mystery Fighters with Jackie Rippy Do. Uh, culturally unaware snake, the ever chosen. Uh, fun fact: strawberries are not berries. Also, your rectum has taste buds in it that are not fully functional. Have a nice day. Tell him, Steve, Dave, Andre, Brooks. Uh, ah, Chris, no, you gotta do the voice. Big, big pig, big pig, big a big pig, big a big pig, big pig. Oh no, ho ho! I don't know what this is. I don't know what the voice is. I don't know what this is. John Strickland, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish would be a perfect movie if Jack Horner was also racist. Merck's 1889, Smash Steve uh, is com- competitively banned, but showers not competitively required. I, 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 the First Church of Keith David, and it's impossible to read Braille with your penis. It's true. McKenzie. Uh, Chris, please hire an exorcist to get that 15-year-old white Redditor out of Derek. <laughs> This is mean. Excuse me. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh, I don't man. even. I'm not even sure. Yeah, I don't know. I think. I think you're. Like, you're I don't even use Reddit. Shut up. Man. I use Reddit. I use Reddit for <laughs> exclusively for porn. Uh, I, I ran Reddit. over my two thousand and three Silverado. <laughs> you use only Reddit fans. for OnlyFans. Only I'm about paying for that shit. Go to Reddit. Confusing. Oh, that's funny. Like you to to get the uh, people upload people's yeah, content. I'm not fucking do that shit. I'm not fucking... <laughs> you're an only. You're I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so kidding, but it's real though. That's like very real. Like you, you just know? get it off of the Reddit. Actually. So is that how I get to like all the all the all the women that we know? You the, oh man. That's the way. Well, just... What? Wait. Sorry. What would you say before I say yes to it? No. No. I said. I said the women. The women that we know. Is that how I fucking get to finally see their shit? I mean, hey, because, make you, you take... know, I ain't giving. I ain't, I ain't giving a woman I know a dime. A <laughs> dime, I mean? nah, bitch. <laughs> fuck out of here. You go die before I pay you anything, bro. <laughs> Oh my Bitch, we go to God. eat. I make you pay. I make you pay for free rides. Blake eight nine here. six. The spider that crawls through your mouth while you sleep. Based. Ashley came on the brakes of the train that derailed in East Palestine. That's how it happened. I love chicken Hot. nuggers. Uh, God Emperor Sweeney, Whoa, clean careful. yo dick, Bucko Peterson away. Nya flies away, hits building. <laughs> I'm not reading a name right now. I Chris just want to let you guys know that Imagine Dragons is my favorite band. Uh, Tonka, the inbred cabbage patch nice. kid, Alaskan oil field trash, Lieutenant Lipton's famous wyvern debunking uh, the pussy hat incident of 2017. She sells seashells by the seashore. He sells seashells on the seafloor. Uh, Sue Hulk, Danny DeVito fucked Matt Walsh to death. It was consensual. The gout law, Nikki Ziggy, the locust boomers right. were in charge of the giant worms because boomers specialize in destroying housing markets. Lobotomized Jesus, much Let's like go. Jeffrey Epstein, loves all his children. A mechanical contraption created to rip off all your finger and toenails at the same time. AEIOU, I like to chew on Jolly Ranchers. Jackson DuPont, Badly Brave, Hugger Derek, Sweeney, there's a Kingdom Hearts trading card game. Be cursed with this knowledge as I have. Aetherian, Chris Gate, Mumpetrian, Hunting Ass, Malphus One, Hexblade, Warlock Supremacist, now retired. Uh, Swashbuckler Rogue is my best friend. And as always, rounding out our list is the king, the noble the king. king, the royal, the, one, the only king of haphazard. This guy. Abbasel. This guy is solely in charge of subsidizing our entire operation here. 
Uh, so yeah, many, many thanks. Him. Many thanks to him. Many thanks to everybody else uh, who supported us uh, in this tier. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, we. Uh, it's good to all you hot bodybuilders with big pussies. Stop. Shout out. Can you grow your Nothing pussy? Like Can you a do that? large pussy. Yeah, you just a lot of cake, uh, uh, kegels. Is that what they're called? Yeah, Does your yeah, pussy yeah. get big if you do that? Though? Yeah, 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 it gets extremely. I met one big, girl who well. had it stretching up to the bottom of her rib cage. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I dude. joke regularly, but like I didn't know you could like make your pussy big. Yeah, it's called joke. You can make it fucking like, like I've seen a pussy as big as a catcher's mitt, bro. It's crazy. It's pretty nuts. You could dive in there real yeah. easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you should try it. You think putting your head inside of a pussy feels like? Sort of like coming home. One hundred percent. Yeah, it's it's like a religious experience. I bet. It's like whoa. Like I'm if back, you could, if you back. could, if you could do it, it would feel like. You know, like when you put a turtle on something that's real fast. It's like a turtle on a skateboard is pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, a, a turtle on like a on the top. If you taped a turtle to the tap to the top of a Japanese bullet train. That's kind of like the experience <laughs> that I you bet it's like. You think the turtle will die? No, no, no. Like, just, like, if you, is... like if you like if you put a sloth in a McLaren, like what happens? You know, like what? The... Like will the sloth just be like whoa? And then like, will it be changed? I think it'll be changed. <laughs> yeah. it, it won't be able to do anything differently, but it will be aware of how much slower it is. And I think that's just bad. That's not good for it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably not. It's like it's it's Sloths it's it's a, it's a form of self awareness. And I, I don't think it's yeah. What a stupid design! <laughs> intelligent design, my dick. The fuck is that shit? He didn't even make that intelligent. That shit fucking stupid as fuck. It's yeah. slow and lazy. The fuck di- that bullshit. The dick is really poorly designed. Like anybody who argues intelligent design is crazy because they clearly have not seen a penis. Like why does it? Have you seen bruh, intelligent design? Like, Look at that human can, eyes, bro. Human eyes fucking... are horribly designed, bro. Well, the idea that, like, I mean, just, you have this thing I mean, in your pants. Our skin sucks. You have this, you have this thing in your pants that, like, is, is, it's, it's like, it's got, like, a green tint to it, and it bleeds every day, and, uh, and it, and it burns a little bit, and, um, and yep. it itches constantly. It's like, what a dumb design. Facts. Uh, my dick is not green, Big nor. Facts. It, Big it, facts. It's not green. No hint of green. It's bright red though. Like my dick looks like a clown's nose. It's insane. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't. Bleed. I, don't, it doesn't I, don't know, I don't know if it's because of the. Inf- it's not I got slightly. An infection wait, wait, a few wait, wait, years wait, 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 hold on. It's not slightly green. And it doesn't bleed constantly. And it's not burning. And it doesn't. No, itch. it's like bright red, and a lot of pus comes out the sides. You don't have, but you only don't... the sides. Only the sides. I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. you are the one with the problem, Sweeney, because I, I, I got a green fucking yeah, yeah. penis. Yeah, we we wait, both what? got green. Yeah, we both have green dicks. Oh, crazy! I should probably go to the doctor. Yeah, go to the doctor. Get probably, that, you got to get your dick green. I, I'll go to the doctor, <laughs> but every time I pl- every time I place my dick on an organic matter, it disappears. Oh, do you, man, ever, do you ever have to place your dick in your doctor's hand? Yeah, like, is that or is that? Do we I have put, a weird doctor? He's like, you put your dick in my hand right now. You do it. You. He's commanding you. <laughs> yeah, he's taking that, all uh, your power away. They would do that checkup at the Catholic school. Yeah. yeah, they would do it. They would do it. My uncle would do it, would do it, would do it like, too. I don't know why he'd do it. I don't know why he'd do it. He'd be like, "Well, my uncle said so your daily inspection." Yeah, yeah. my do- my he's my like, uncle my uncle did it too. But my my uncle was a doctor though. He's, he's, he's I think he's he's he Doctor Flo is what he would go by. Um, nice. My, my doctor would do it. He would just be like, he my uncle would be like, "Hey, dude, it's time for your checkup." I'm like I had a checkup three months ago. I was like, "Yeah, but you got to give me you got to do that at home checkup." And he would yeah, make the family he, checkup. He yeah, and then he would fucking grab my little hand. Tell me to grab my penis and then put my penis in his hand with my hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. All right, I bye. That, I love that we bye, can. That's it. I, love, I love that we can all share this ex- this uh, bonding experience. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this normal inspection. Yeah, yeah 100%. Dude, it's the at home checkup. It's the, it's, it's your it's your at home uncle's checkup. That's how. It works. I mean, I mean, th- I mean, think about it this way. Think about think, before we go. Think about it this way. Sometimes you go to Burger King. Sometimes you eat at home. Exactly. Sometimes your doctor Big touches facts. your dick very violently, and then sometimes your uncle touches your dick very violently. It's just how it works. Violently. <laughs> anyway, that's it. See you guys. Yeah, good, goodbye. Bye. Just, vi- just fucking. What a disaster. Just, just.
tugging at your dick. What a fucking hard. disaster! Just the skin, just like at the base, just off. pulling the skin as pissed far off as he that can. You're not erected. Like what the fuck, man? You like, should be. I'm fucking man. hot. Get hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. It's like <laughs>